All right, another successful mission. Strangely uncomfortable. Can you ask the raptor for motivation, please? Okay. Oh, she's very photogenic. Nothing can stop us now. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. It's Chip and Dale. How are you guys doing? Hello, Grogu. Universal Orlando Resort, Earl the Squirrel needs his own Christmas tree over here for the meet and greet. I think so. I think we're gonna make that happen. Four of you have tried to kill me in the past. One of you succeeded. Oh, wow. Do you think the people on the moon ever look over and say, wow, it's a full spaceship Earth tonight. Well, welcome back to the sign, welcoming you to Universal Orlando Resort. Terrifying, isn't it? <laughs> Hi, Scooby. What you been up? We're here at Disney's Polynesian Village Resort with the newly opened. Kona, I don't remember what it's called. Good morning, Magic Crew, and happy Friday. Good to have you guys with us this morning as we're coming to you live from the Walt Disney World Resort here in Orlando, Florida. It's Friday, August 11th, and officially it's time for the not-so-scary Halloween season to begin here at Walt Disney World. Welcome in everybody. Glad you guys could join us this morning. Happy Friday and welcome to this morning stream. It's time for some Animal Kingdom theme park fun today. So come on in, hit that thumbs up button, jump into the live chat. And let's have a great time today with the Magic Crew. Again, good morning, happy Friday. Welcome in everybody, glad you guys could join us. This is your first time ever joining us here on Ear to Ear Magic. My name's Chris, I'm your Disney travel agent in the parks. I will be your camera operator for today. And we're gonna have some fun riding some rides checking out some stuff and having a good time today. If this is the first time you've ever joined us here on our channel, we stream every Monday through Friday here at the Walt Disney World Resort and Universal Orlando Resort. And we would love to have you guys join us on future streams. Uh, our group who hangs out with us here in the live chat, we refer to as the Magic Crew because whereas the rides, the food, and the attractions are all the same that you might get elsewhere on other streams and other vlogs, the real magic happens is the group of people that we hang out with all the time and we get to ch chat with in the live chat. So, we got some feeding going on this morning. 
Ooh, breakfast. And if you come in today, you enjoy jumping into the chat and you're having fun with the rest of the Magic Crew, we would love for you guys to be a part of that. Take a couple of seconds, hit that subscribe button. We are presently about 70 Magic Crew members away from hitting 25,500. Owen, uh, they still let him in. I tried to leave him at the, the gate. We usually have a rule in our, in our group that everybody else has to scan in before me so that if we have problems, I, I, I can do it. He let I me did. go in first today, so I was gonna just leave him at the gate. <laughs> you, you took the skater like before the second one. I didn't want to hop between you, so you had to hop between three once you were done, so. It's on me because what happened after like I said, that would be my fault, but. He did not have, I did not have him a park reservation for today. Here's the funny thing though, guys. Can, can I just throw this just random thing out? I can't remember in the past two months that we've had a single park have issues with park reservations. Selling out or becoming unavailable. So I know as we're getting into 2024, those who have a dated ticket will no longer require park reservations because your dated ticket will be your park reservation. But I, I'm seriously concerned about whether or not we even need park reservations at this point. But that's just a subjective thing. All right. As beautiful as that tree of life is, we are on a mission this morning. As always, we are going to Beelining it straight to the safari to try to get it at, when it's at its lowest point for standby. Right at rope drop. Good morning, everybody. How are you doing this morning? Maribel says, good morning, Owen. Hello. Good morning. Thank you for watching. Hello, Don. Welcome in. Lorraine says, hi, Owen. Kimberly says, glad Owen was able to be with you. I tried to leave him at the gate. Now they're, just, they're just giving park reservations away now at this point. Good morning, Greg. Good to see you. Pam says, hello, Owen. Yeah, they're just letting anybody in now, Cake Dust. Letting anybody in he wants in and has money. <laughs> Good morning, Gail. How you doing? Naomi says that Pam Washington gifted some Magic Crew cast memberships this morning. Thank you so much, Pam. If you suddenly find that your name is green in the chat this morning and it wasn't before, then Pam has given you one month to be a part of our Magic Crew cast. Good morning, good morning. How are you doing this morning? Thank you. Have a nice day. It's my new cast member friend over there. She's always extremely nice to say hello. But if you, uh, are green in the chat now, then Pam says, you know what? We want you to be a part of our cast for the next month. So if you're in green, you have a name badge beside you. You should say new member, maybe. And you should have exclusive access to emojis in the chat that only our, our cast have access to. So feel free to use the uh, emojis this morning. Like the one, the don't be a zebra emoji that's only available to Magic Crew cast. Welcome in, LC. Good morning, George. Good to see you this morning, Quaharini.
There we go, Justin. Welcome into the Magic Crew cast. Explore and find yourself some emojis you can use today. Good morning and happy Friday again. I have a 15 minute wait right now on Kilimanjaro Safaris. Good morning, Travis. Welcome in, Jeff. It's safari time. <laughs> we're we're booking it today, baby dove. I'm already getting my my 5K medal. My Friday morning safari 5K. Friday morning. Look at you, looking good this morning. Don in the Magic Crew cast. My backpack is much heavier today than normal. I'm feeling it already, man. And Pam, again, thank you for the uh, for the gifts. And I see that you guys are already using the emojis for for telling people what you voted for for a lunch poll, which means Susan already has a lunch poll up today. If you guys are just popping in, take a couple of seconds. Peruse, peruse the poll. They seem to be in good uh, spirits this morning, the cranes. Peruse the poll and choose what option that you would like to see me try today. You guys get to choose what I chew and review. Welcome in. Good morning, gallery man. The cool thing is, is whenever you guys then get to the heated battles for lunch, I have no clue what you guys are doing because I can't see it. Owen can see it because sometimes he goes into the, sometimes he goes in to check things on on YouTube, but but I I can't ever see it. So when you guys I, I, I get actually, in heated I battles, do play with the, even though I usually choose something different from like you guys, I do play by the same rules as Paul, which I do not. Um, I do not check where the options or where possible could be going up until we get close to that that I'm going to cut off, so. Yeah, um, if it's heated, that's, that's good, right? Good morning, Riley. Good to see you, Galen. How are you? And today's weather, we're gonna be, guys, we're gonna be baking even more so today. Our weather, high of 97. Three degrees from triple digits. High of 97, our heat index, and it's gonna feel like it's probably around 113, 115 uh, based on uh, heat index. So it is gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a hot one. Our Genie Plus prices for today, $25 for all parks, $25 for the Magic Kingdom. We have got $18 for Epcot, $22 for Disney's Hollywood Studios, and today here at Animal Kingdom would be $16. Good morning, Scully Jim. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. We jumped in early uh, with our Kilimanjaro safaris. We haven't moved since we've got up here, though. So curious to see how uh, we have a uh, giraffe jam already.
Good morning, Gabriel. Oh, we got we've got our circle bottles are full, so we are ready to hydrate. Travis, good to see you, Julie. Welcome in, Jennifer. How are you today? Now, this morning we are starting off our Friday like we normally like to do here in Animal Kingdom. Getting in the Kilimanjaro safaris while the animals are just getting up, have the most energy are usually being fed and uh, having breakfast and early morning snacks. So they are a little bit more active on the savannah. With a high today of 97, today's gonna be one of those days where in the middle of the afternoon, your safaris are going to be sparse. Because I don't care how beautiful a giraffe I am, when it's 97 degrees, I'm gonna go find the shade. And that's usually not in the middle of the safari, so. Good morning, Adam. Welcome in. Mike Wazowski. That's Mike Wazowski. That's Wazowski with one eye. Good morning, sir. And crew, as you guys are coming in today, we're going to need you to help us out. We always get started early on rope drop and we need to let everybody know that at work that we've started this morning and we are ready to hit a safari. The best way to do that is to get YouTube on our hands and uh, tell them to share our stream out and invite them in to the safari with us today. So this is how you guys do it and help us out. If you haven't done so already, hit that thumbs up button. The more likes we get first part of our stream, the more YouTube will share our stream out today with others who may be in the office and don't know that we're live yet. And they can join us on the safari uh, after uh, YouTube wakes up and starts to invite some other people in. So. Good morning, Lucas. Good to see you, Andrew. A traffic jam. I like traffic jams if I'm in them. But there you are, Perry. Good morning. Good morning. You get me start starting to sing some Phineas and Ferb songs. And when you guys come in, we would love it if you guys could continue to just make it a positive, fun stream for all to come in. We are a family-friendly stream. We want people to come in and enjoy themselves, have a great time. And uh, so come on in and do the same in the chat. Good morning, Cat's Mouse Game. Welcome in, Sue Ann. And we just got a PayPal. We just got a PayPal. We just got a PayPal from the Magic Crew. Tammy just tipped $6.26. That is Experiment 626. That's our sign and number for Ohana. Whenever anybody tips $6.26 to our community, you guys know that that is a shout out to everybody in the chat, part of our Ohana today. So thank you so much, Tammy. Greatly appreciate the support. And uh, thank you guys for being such an amazing community of people to come and watch some aminals with us today. Oh, the fan feels good. Please note the full each road. It was like, we're just getting up. <laughs> Owen and I have been up for a bit. Got to get up early on Animal Kingdom Day. Good morning, Alyssa. Happy Friday. Just give me a stage. How are you? 
Gabriel says we're up to 339 likes. Thank you guys so much for hitting that thumbs up button this morning. See if we can get our crew together before we get out on the little Atori Forest. Chill. Welcome to the Magic Crew cast. Pam gifted some memberships this morning, so thank you, Pam. Jumbo Eddie. Welcome in. Good morning, Jenny. How are you today? And yeah, YouTube memberships, when they are gifted, um, they are purchased in numbers and YouTube randomly selects who receives them. So you never know who's going to get one. I wanted to make certain I told you about our learning Good morning, Jeremy. Welcome in, Roxanne. Hakuna Matata. Owen has on his new T-shirt that you helped with, Roxanne. You're going to go this side? Okay. Owen's going to go against the grain. We're on the left side, but he's going to jump into this side. That's cool. You're going to show him your new shirt? This is Owen's new shirt today, Roxanne. We'll have to we'll have to solve for it later. He's not he's not strong. That's all right. Finish. I don't know if I can watch more. Uh, dude, that shirt is amazing. So far, they're on the lighter side, but we're gonna wait and see. It's always a weird day when it's the first day of Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. Tonight is the first Halloween party at the Magic Kingdom. And it kind of messes things up a little bit. Not by a bad way, but it just changes the dynamics of how the parks work. The Magic Kingdom tonight will be closing at 6 p.m. to general guests. For one hour it will be in limbo and then at 7 p.m. it will start for the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party tonight. So on party nights for the next three months whenever there's a party at the M at magic kingdom it kind of changes up how all the other parties uh, and all the other parks operate so yeah hopefully the animals got their caffeine today hello we got two can we can we hold for the back row that's fine no problem Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Yeah, we like the back row because then our uh, our camera never gets in the way of anybody's view. If we're holding our camera up to show you guys a giraffe or a zebra, uh, we don't have to worry about somebody in a row behind us having their view blocked. Thank you. Andrew likes your shirt, Owen. Let's go. Twin day. Good morning, Disney Lisa. Awesome. Well, congratulations to the newlyweds. Happy wedding day, Sarah and Peter. 
Hope you guys have a great honeymoon. Morning, Cindy. Happy Friday. And remember, guys, don't be a zebra. Don't be a zebra. Don't be a zebra. Don't be a zebra. Morning, two bucks. What it sounds like when I pull into most places, most drive throughs. It's going to be a warm one today, guys. High of 97, and we're already starting to feel the heat and the humidity this morning. Windy, let's go. And they're off for three week safari. Don't worry, they'll charge them for the extra tickets when they get back. Good morning, Tom. How are you doing this today? You guys ready to see some animals? <laughs> Anywhere you can put your feet into some water, right? Speaking of lunch, don't forget the lunch poll is already up. Susan's working ahead of time, and uh, you guys can vote on what we will be having for lunch later today. It's a secret because I can't see it from my standpoint, so vote and then try to campaign for your favorite option and get your fellow Magic Crew members to vote alongside you. Good morning, Scott. How are the McKinley's doing today? Hopefully air conditioned. Pumpkin spice. I got an email this morning from 7-Eleven saying the pumpkin season has started. And there he goes. Good morning, Dave, Mr. Disney. Hi, 
and Sweetie Bear. Now, as we continue going through our uh, safari this morning, I may not necessarily be able to continue the chat with you guys since we're going to be it's watching for animals. As we like to say here in Harambe, twin day, which means... So you guys continue the chat. Save your questions for after the safari well, for me. Well, you will be pleased to remind you today. Hey, if you have children, you can either on um, journal and, uh, lab or on the we'll seat. see you the, on, on the savannah. Now, star switching them black to loud, black, black to see, see to light. The bullet ball green, not in the logic, it will be keep your hands on, feet to light. It's on the truck at all times. No eating, no drinking. It's on the truck. It is for the safety of our animals. And last but not least, do not call the animals. My name is Evelise, and I'll be our safari tour guide through Harambe while I'm here. We are heading to the little each forest, and the animals in the forest are excellent at camouflaging. So keep your eyes peeled. One day, let's go. Come on, those animals in the bushes and on the bush. To your right hand side, that's the old copy. And here on the left, those birds are the saddlebill sorts. They all copies, they might look a little like zebras because of the white stripes in their backs. But they are relatives from the giraffe. Just like the giraffes, they all copies have a long prehensile tongue that allows them to grab and pull leaves on the trees. They also like to stay hidden behind the bamboos and they are very shy. There's the black right on your left. The saddle bill starts here, black and white with a yellow saddle in your beak. They can have a height of 5 feet and a waistband of 9 feet. You can actually tell which ones are male and female because females have yellow eyes while the males have brown eyes. The black rhinos can weigh up to 3,000 pounds. Their horns are made out of keratin, just like our fingernails. fingernails. And there are only less than 5,000 rhinos in the world. This one's on the right with a gray coat and no horns, those are the greater kudus. And the ones with a brown coat and horns, those are the bongos. The bongos are nicknamed the ghosts of the forest because they are rarely seen. Both males and females, bongos Ooh, carry our first ghost for Halloween. 36 inches, and they're also called the Forester Home. If you use paper responsible, we can tell them to keep their home safe. The greater kudos we can tell those were females because females kudos do now carry horns, and they can stand up up to 55 inches at their shoulder. From a standing position, they can jump up to 6 feet. So right now we're heading into the Sapphire River and here the animals thrive in aquatic ecosystems and those animals are going to be the pink back pelicans and you can see the now hippo just taking a nap on your right hand side. <laughs> oh, did we wake you up? I'm sorry. There are the females on your left. The pink bark pelicans, they got their names because they get a pink coloration in their back during mating season. They are colonial nest and they <laughs> nest from 20 to have all of our, all of our hippos in a row. Petrochers. And they also like to feed in quiet environments. With the now hippos, they are very territorial. They spend most of the day submerged on their water, preventing them from overheating. And they can be as long as eight minutes on the water. Their babies can weigh about 50 up to 100 pounds of birth. The males can weigh up to 5,500 pounds. And a fun fact about the hippos is hippos don't swim. It's that they walk in the bottom of the river. This one's on the left, the now crocodiles. As we cross the bridge, please remain seated at all times. Super strong yeah to break the bones of their prey. They are the largest from all crocodiles in Africa. 
and the average for these crocodiles is 16 feet and 500 pounds. So right now, we're slowly heading into the savannah. And the savannah hosts millions of migrating animals every single year. Here we will get to see some of the most famous animals in Africa. Like giraffes, zebras, elephants, mandrels, rhinos, cheetahs, Spike. tons of other different animals as well. Unfortunately, we're not going to see all of those animals because some of them are more active during the day and others at night. Usually we have pretty good looks, so let's see how the animals are doing here in the savannah. Caretaker. We can tell we are in the savannah by looking at the trees. You'll notice none of them has bottom leaves, and that's because of the giraffes. They eat them. There's a good chance that they might be out. Cattle birds. African cattle birds. Here on the left, this ones are the African wild dogs. Oh, wild dogs like they are up and going. Snakes. They're so pretty. I will say breakfast, probably. Mm, nom, 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 nom. The African wild dogs are also known as painted dogs because of their unique marks. They might look a little like a red dog at home, but they're not from the candy family. They only have four toes. And they will also get their prey 90% of the time because they will chase their prey until the prey gets tired. These ones on the left are the sable antelopes. The sable antelopes have a reddish brown coat. The males, as they get older, their coat will get darker. And they also have their horns backwards because it helps them protect themselves from predators and want to jump in their backs and they are also the symbol of their reserve these orange things are termite mounts uh -oh. they are made out of three things their dung and saliva with the sun they get hard as concrete and the animals love to use them to scratch oh. themselves The zebras. Look, giraffes. That's a little beast. I need a little beast. Don't want to use the cattle for now. It seems like the keepers still working oh, and getting some snacks before they bring the animals. Well, it seems like the traps are out. They sit in front of their barn. There are the spring box on your right. There is at least one of them all the way back to way the bushes. Back there. The spring box, they got their names because I heard somebody call them a small up to six feet. Because you got your chocolate, your marshmallow, and your ramp hunger. land animal running up to 60 miles per hour. Let's see if we can buy the giraffes over here. Oh, there's at least one of them. Aww. Oh, you see the keeper in the back? So she's trying to get the, <laughs> the giraffes out. Maybe they don't want to come out yet. <laughs> This one is one of the Maasai giraffes. They are the tallest animal in the world. They can have a height up to 20 feet. The giraffes only need 30 minutes of sleep and for Yeah, he's waiting for everybody else to come out. Her purple tongue and the color prevents it from sunburn. They can eat up to 20 hours a day. 
And a really cool fact about the giraffes is giraffes are not going to do anything that they don't want to. This was our African elephants on the right. Here's our African elephant. Oh, there's the mandrels on your left. They're hiding right there next to you. Do you have the baby with you? Yeah, she does. It's the one on the way on the ride that is, that is, she's not looking to us, so. Have a baby she's like on her legs. That's so cute. There's the baby. Oh, look at it, it's so tiny. Aw. Oh, jeez. Sorry, guys. I was very distracted. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I shouldn't be looking at the mandrels. Anyways, <laughs> it was are you a guys baby. okay? Sorry about that. Um, the mandrels, they are the largest monkeys. Males can weigh up to 100 pounds. Females about half. And they are also very shy monkeys. Even though they congregate in groups of over 800. And the blue and red from their faces. Let's take an exciting it will get more brighter. With the African elephants, you can actually identify them as African elephants because of the shape of their ears. Kinda looks just like Africa. And we can also tell those two were females because females tend to be in groups and the males are more solitary. Another way to identify them that they are females is because I don't know if you noticed but the first elephant that we saw um, she only had like one tusk because that's one of our oldest um, elephants and then the other one is the daughter so usually um, if we're gonna have the boys all together we'll have them in this big yard over here on the left which it seems like the keeper is still um, putting some stuff I kind of saw the little cart But the elephants, they are really hard to find here in the wild for many factors, including the habitat lust. The good news is we found out that the elephants are scared of bees. So the farmers in Africa built beehive fences as for the crops to keep the elephants away, which is a great idea because it is helping to keep the elephants safe and our farmers happy. And also the elephants have a great memory which helps them remember not going back to that farm with the bees. Those are the greater flamingos on your left. They are the lightest from all species. They get their color from their diet. They eat tiny brine shrimp containing carotene turning their feathers pink. So whenever the flamingos have babies, their babies are actually born with gray feathers. And as they start getting mature, with the help the white rhinos of the are out today. would get their feathers pink. This ones are the white rhinos. There's this one's on your left. And there are some others coming up from the right. Jeez, the sun is right there. Oh, wow. On both sides today. You can see how we're kiddos, well done. 
is standing up. That's our big boy. He's gonna be three. The one is laying down, and then let's see who's this one. The more tiny ones are gonna be two at the end of the year. This is little boy. So the one that is laying down is little girl. They got their names because of a mispronunciation. They meant wide. I don't know if you can see it, at least from that one that is standing up by herself. But they actually have a wide mouth. A white. They can weigh up to 5,000 pounds. They have very sensitive skin. Oh, there's a cheetah. They really like to roll over the mud and use a, that's a natural sunscreen. They also like to scratch themselves so they can get rid of that skin, scratch their horns so they can get a little bit of shape. And the red rhinos are the most social from all five rhino species. The cheetahs, they are the fastest land level, running up to 60 miles per hour in just three seconds. However, they can just hold it for a few hundred yards. Not like most big cats, the cheetahs prefer to hunt during the day. There's a water box on your right, at least one of them. So they like to hunt during the day because they have a better eyesight. They were also built for speed and not power, so they are often chased by lions, hyenas, and leopards. With a water box, as the name suggests, they will be found near water and they drink tons of water to be an antelope. And usually they spend most of the day in between the bushes sleeping. They will come out in the afternoon. Or if it was raining, the oh, there's a lion. They will come out and enjoy the rain. And the female is on like on the top rock. We have to go a little bit further. The lions they sleep up to twenty hours a day. The females do most of the hunting. They also go in groups because sometimes their prey might be faster than them. While the males, they stay to protect the territory and protect the babies. They're taking the, their morning nap. Their good morning nap, their afternoon nap, their evening nap, their evening nap, their night nap. Warthogs are not out. We got to see the warthogs last week. It's the first time in a while. Over here on your right in the floor, you're going to find the ostrich's eggs. The ostrich's eggs, they weigh three pounds, which is the equivalent of two dozens of chicken eggs. And anyone can stand on top of them and they won't break. village and the warden takes care of the Nigerian dwarf goats. They are from West Africa and they were domesticated as state goats. They spend most of the day eating and resting. Although they are small, they are adults and they like to chase each other and climb on everything because it helps them get the dominoes between them. Going back to the Harambe village, if you would like to see some other animals, I encourage you to go to the Gorilla Falls. It is a walking trail, 15 to 20 minutes, 
There you can see some gorillas, hippos on their water, another species of zebras. They all copy again, birds, meerkats, zygomo rats, and tons of other different animals as well. If you would like to go, they will close at 6.30 and they are located right at the exit of Safari. You can also go to the Maharaja Jungle Trek of Renation and see the tigers, bats, and palas. They have more birds, more animals as well. And they will also close at 6.30. They will be located right behind Kali River Rapids. If you wanted to go to the Rafiki Planet Watch, they have a drawing animation there. They have an affection center with the goats, a bag clinic, and some other small animals like snakes. The first train leaves at 9.30, and the last one will leave at 4.30. Good safari. Oh. That's why I always like to come here because you never know what you're gonna get. Always different. Always different. <laughs> so for those who were there for the entire safari. Uh, our driver was really excited to see the baby mandrill was out and visible. It's oftentimes it's impossible to see the mandrills. They're always hiding if they're out at all. And so for the see the mandrills at all is usually a great thing. Uh, but this morning, the baby mandrill, Saffron, was out. And she was turning. She was looking. She was making sure we got a good view of that. And she cut the corner a little too much and caught the edge of the curb right there at the elephant enclosure. And we went up. We all went up for a ride. Boom! I'm sure you heard her. <laughs> I think it caught her off guard. She wanted to make sure everybody was okay before he started moving again. Welcome in and good morning, everybody. Welcome to Disney's Animal Kingdom theme park. My name is Chris. This is my son, Owen. We are Ear to Ear Magic, and we are with you guys here for another day of fun here in the Walt Disney World and Universal Orlando Parks as we are every weekday. I don't see our uh, bachelors out this morning. They probably, it looks like they've already had their breakfast because I can see remnants of, of uh, lettuce here and there. Uh, so KJ's probably already come through here and torn it up and had a great breakfast already. So uh, we might keep an eye out. Uh, luckily, whoever was camping on top of the falls up there uh, they still seem to be in good shape and have not gotten too close to the that gorillas. Always, that always <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. Exactly, Debbie. How are you doing this morning? Welcome in, Tangela. Good to see you. Welcome in, Paige. Happy Friday, everybody. John Bo, and welcome in. It's going to be a warm day in the park, so make sure you hydrate. We are looking at a high today of 97 degrees with a heat index well, well above 110 degrees today. So it is going to be a hot one. If perchance you are going to the first Mickey's Not So Scary, Halloween party this evening at the Magic Kingdom starting at 7 p.m. Maybe not dress up in a costume that's too heavy. We don't want you guys to overheat. It's going to be warm all weekend. We've got our Wild Africa Trek guests walking beside us to the left here they're getting ready to go on their own trek out walk above 
the hippos, see the crocodiles and get their own safari this morning. So this safari was a little light today. We got we, we got one giraffe. Uh, Some areas were better than others, like seeing the painted dogs eat. We got to see, I, I think we've got a better view of the painted dogs today than I've ever seen. Um, actually up and about moving around, chewing on whatever it was they were enjoying. And uh, probably one of the best white rhinos uh, oh, yeah. that we've seen also. All clustered out, out there, not hiding, hiding at all. Yep. Got to see the younger child walking with its uh, mom. With Hello, Karen. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, you know what? On days like this, you almost kind of want to forget that, you know, it's sometimes, oh, we can't walk through here anymore. Looky, looky. Yeah, I was about to say. This wall is new. What am I going on over here? Yeah, I forgot about the Kilimanjaro Safari drop. Uh, boom! It was it was so funny. It was like one second look at the baby, one second later, everyone's fine. Like, everyone's okay? extremely quiet. No one's saying a word. We're all just sitting there looking at each other, going, "Are we okay? Or are we okay?" <laughs> all right. With today's being the first day of the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. Uh, we're going to start to see a little bit more of the Happy Halloween merch. We have Ghoul's Night Out. Of course, we've got our uh, Mickey Treat Pumpkins that come about every year. Mini this year has the gummy candy corn. And the Mickey Pumpkin has real candy corn. Um, and they are free. They're free. I don't know how much they are. There's no price tag on them. We'll have to find out how much they are. All right, Bam, a new spiky cup. A new spiky cup. It is. It's very interesting the color um, color choices they've gone for all the merch this year. All of them have this like, like RBG, like red, yellow, blue. Look to them. Adam says petition to get Disney to return the sauces and portion size to Kamal's fries. I do miss the uh, those the you know, little skeleton shot glass. Look at the uh, Dole Whip behind you. Let me show everybody that. You guys like Dole Whip? Who wants a Dole Whip? They're everywhere. They're everywhere. Good morning, Ashley. How are you? Oh, Got some candles. churros. A candle? Churro candle. Let me smell it. Does it smell like churros? Uh, it smells like cinnamon. Oh, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's more cinnamon. Cinnamon. Welcome people. in, Philip. Good morning, guys. Yeah, Kamal's fries, uh, unfortunately, they got rid of one of the sauces that was, like, really good. Was it, like, the, the sriracha ketchup or something like that? All right, it's it's Halloween season now, so that means it's time for some Halloween treats. You guys want to see some? You want to tempt you guys with some treats today? All right, I don't know if Isabel is with us this morning, but... Is that goat skinner? A what? No, it's a hippo. It's a hippopotamus. Wait, no, that's the hippopotamus. I don't know why I thought that was both Halloween and Animal Street. No, that's just Animal Street. I just find it. The Mickey Pumpkins. Mickey Pumpkins are cute. And other Halloween styles. We have ourselves the spider web cookie and the Mickey pumpkin rice krispie treats 
Hang on, Owen. I'm gonna hand this off. I'm gonna take a couple pictures. Just because this is a my first Mickey pump inside, you know, the pump of the caramels. There we go. And here we can see the distant influencer in his natural habitat. Yeah, um, Halloween season, I, I, we did see Halloween merch before. The season has officially um, started off considering that. Yeah, I mean, today's the first day of the party, so going full swing. All Enjoy. Halloween treats are gonna start becoming available in the parks. Now we're not gonna get Halloween decor here in the Animal Kingdom. That is primarily kept at the Magic Kingdom. But we will get to see confections everywhere so and speaking of that we do have our live stream currently now here at animal kingdom if you guys are subscribed to us but you do not have your bell notifications turned on so that if we go live with a surprise second stream on a friday afternoon on the first day of the party um then you may miss out so make sure if you are subscribed already Make sure you have those notification bell turns on. I know they don't always work well with YouTube. It's kind of weird sometimes. But let's increase our chances by hitting that bell notification this afternoon. Good morning, Pickle Shake. Welcome in. And thank you, Karen, for taking the time to hit that subscribe button today. Welcome into the Magic Crew. Owen was looking for these over at the Animal Kingdom Lodge so much, and he could not find them. What are they called? Welcome in, Karen. You guys have already done so, but welcome in our newest Magic Crew member. Thanks for subscribing this morning. Good morning, EXP626. Is it Andrew's birthday today? Well, happy birthday, Andrew. Anybody else's birthday today? Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, happy Friday, happy birthday to you. To all those celebrating today, I hope it's a magical day. And thank you for giving us a bit of your birthday today, that's a great gift to us. Sam, there is a very, very good chance that park hopping might take place today. So we will be closing out later today and as after lunch and into the afternoon here at Animal Kingdom. But that does not mean you won't hear from us again until Monday. So Keep your ears out. Owen, should we uh, should we go see somebody about a Yeti? It's nine o'clock. We still have a couple hours before we gotta grab lunch today. If you guys are just popping in, take a couple of seconds. 
find the poll at the top of the chat and put your vote in as to where you would like us to go today and have food that we can review for you guys. You choose, we chew, and review. So make sure to put your vote in. Good morning, Leo. How are you? Good to see you, Rob. Mouse Mom, TGIF. Toes go in first. Proper footwear starts with putting them on correctly. So make sure those toes go in your shoes first, guys. That's right, Brittany. Tonight's the first Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party. It might be cool to have a pre-party live stream today, wouldn't it? All right, have a great walk with Ozzy, Julie. Have a great weekend if we don't catch you again later on today. We'll see you again real soon. That one, the back one, no He's like, do you have any french fries? Do you have any? Good morning, Rob. How are you? Did you see how many ducks there were over by the Greater Flamingos today? Yeah, there was a whole... It's like a whole flock. A whole flock. A swarm. Good morning, John. Welcome in. Mouse mom's working from home today. Don't need shoes. Nice. Not even house shoes. In inside shoes. To wear the inside shoes on the outside. Yeah, now they only have sriracha mayonnaise on Mr. Colonel's fries. It used to get like a Thai chili uh, hot sauce as well, so. All right, we're gonna stop for a little water water break. Hydration is important today, as hot as it is, so. Woo. Good morning, Shelly. How are you? Let's get our uh, circle bottles out. Let's circle up everybody. Man. Owen, water. Me, water. What are you drinking today? Florida man? Florida. Uh, I think mom got a deal on Florida man. I don't I'm drinking a lot of it Florida man. It was me. Man. I replaced all the flavors in the cabinet with all, just Florida man. All the flavors are Florida man, so I think mom got a deal or something. I'm drinking Florida man. Oh, yeah, like, oh, oh, that's your favorite. Oh, great. Yeah. Try that again. I always be sure to put ice in your water bar before leaving out so it's cold when you get to it. Yeah, always ice it up a little bit. It's a drinking party. And you're invited. Boom, 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 boom. It's... Uh, you're, you're not going to be able to turn it neck. What's that? It, it's a picnic. Monster picnic. And humans are allowed. Boom, 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 boom. Join the monsters at the mansion. Oh, look. I have leftover dudes. 
It was booby trapped. It's another hot one, Jasper. 97 today. 97. Woo. Welcome in, Craig and Jay. How are you guys doing? Coming up for our first Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party this year. First time staying at Walt Disney World 2. Getting excited watching your stream. If you have any questions, if we can help you out with anything, Craig and Jay, let us just know. We're always open for questions. My wife and I are Travel Mation travel agents. We help people with their questions and their planning all the time. We'd love to know if you guys need any help. And also, while we are not going to tonight's Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, we did go to one last year and live streamed it just to show you guys some of the things we do as far as our tips and tricks to get the most out of your five hours. So even if we're not live there tonight, you guys can go back and catch last year's. Um, I probably should have pulled up the link and just made it available. Uh, but uh, Tony's probably watched. <laughs> uh, but we did take you guys last year. I think it was around August 16th, I believe it was. Um, and we put a lot of tips uh, and things in there uh, to try to be as informative as possible to show you kind of how we do uh, Mickey's Not So Scary. Um, and the many years that we've been going and taking our kids as well. So if uh, that would be helpful, go back and find that and check it out. Uh, it looks like the start to a beverage commercial. Do, 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 do. It's hot. Oh, man. Do you just take a sip of it and say, like, one of the uh, boats comes directly behind you out of nowhere? With insert product name here, life can be a party. If you drink do, you can have a party with Mickey Mouse too. And Mickey's in the background going, he's drinking Mountain Dew. And all of a sudden, Coke calls up and goes, uh, excuse me? <laughs> a Coke, a, um, Coke. Coke, okay, we're going to sponsorship. Mouse Mom, what I got a here? circle after I saw it in your streams. Love it. My favorite is pineapple coconut. Have you had tried pineapple coconut? No, I don't think I have. Owen has not tried the pineapple coconut. Maybe one of the special flavors you have to go find. Well, if I guess it really depends because like, they have the a main... lot more flavors online. Yeah. If you go online to Circle, there are a lot more flavors than they even carry. Not at Walmart. just that, but like there's a mocha one. There's like a coffee flavored one that I'm I want to try. <laughs> you can only get it when you do that. Cheers, Chef Ricky. How are you today? Beautiful. <coughs> I'm supposed to drink the Mountain Dew, not breathe it. Woo. Oh, man. Uh, good morning, George. George says if you haven't voted for lunch, option one's a great one. So consider that. So uh, before we get going over to uh, Expedition Everest, I have to tell you guys about something. Uh, Travis uh, informed us last night. Last night was the first preview dinner uh, over at Universal uh, for the Halloween Horror Nights. This is something new they've done this year they've never done before. For special nights uh, in the month of August, uh, they are making um, a preview dinner for snacking. It's not like the full meals, but you get like snacking portions of all the food items that are available for Halloween Horror Nights. So if you're a big HHN fan, you can go and try the foods, you can try the, the uh, drinks, including the non-alcoholic and the alcoholic. Um, you get a Blinky cup, you get a, a Halloween Horror Nights uh, freestyle cup from this year. Uh, you get one photo, I guess they're gonna have some scare actors or something there too. But you get a preview of all the food and drinks. Um, they had originally priced it at $169.99. Uh, and uh, as of yesterday, the first night, they brought the price down. It's now 135. Uh, it's only a two hour event. So it's basically, you have two hours to just cram it all in and try it all. Now, they also had a media day yesterday at Universal and they brought uh, their official media teams in and I get them, I don't know if they got to try it all, but we got to see pictures uh, of the foods and stuff like that. Um, uh, hopefully they get them try it as well. But um, 
I'm excited to get into Halloween Horror Nights as well. That's going to be starting in September uh, to where we're going to be able to try some foods and stuff like that. But with the price coming down from 169 to 135 I'm sorely tempted. They have uh, openings now between, I think the next one's tomorrow night, and then like every weekend for the next two weekends. So that's kind of intriguing. It's still a little pricey, but much better than it was before. So, um, hello, Michael. Good morning, good morning. Heading to Walt Disney World on Monday and the party on Tuesday. Sweet. I know you guys are excited. Good morning, Samantha. How are you doing today? Top of the morning, Magic Crew. Good to see you, Ball Josh. Uh, Samantha says she's doing the uh, party tomorrow. Um, the, uh, the the preview, HHN's preview. Um, Laura says, you're keeping me company while I'm packing for my Disney trip. We leave early Monday morning. Man, there's going to be a lot of crew coming in here next week. Sounds awesome. Um, Chrissy says, doesn't matter how much caffeine I get, I still fall asleep sitting on the couch. I will tell you, uh, my college roommate was not very happy with me uh, when we started. Uh, you, you, you told this story before, I remember this. I know, it's my college roommate um, would always give me all kinds of just flack because I would drink Mountain Dew. Back then I didn't drink Diet Mountain Dew because I was thin as a rail. Um, and uh, I would drink regular Mountain Dew like before I went to bed. I climbed up into my uh, loft bed and uh, Matt would just go how can you drink that I I couldn't drink that much caffeine and go to sleep I could drink two 20 ounce Mountain Dews and go right to sleep wouldn't bother me a bit caffeine has never really had that effect on me in that way so matter of fact, I hope here they go here comes our here comes our uh, our feathered friends going up to the front of the park for their show uh, I guess uh, uh, some people say that, you know, if you have uh, ADHD, caffeine affects you differently. Maybe it makes you uh, calmer. I don't know. Um, it is a great spot, Marissa. It really is. Here, let me show you what makes it even a better spot. What, I'm going to show you right this. Watch this. Watch. Ready? This is how you take, this is how you make it look even better. One, two, three. This is a deal. Not to mention, it's always best to take a picture of the icons while the sun is still at an angle. Like the tree. So nice. And it always looks better when I'm out of the picture. Alright, you guys ready to get, get going again? We just needed to stop and have a little bit of hydration. It is really warm and we want to make sure that we don't get uh, too overheated. Um, wait an H2O. Having ice in your bottles today made me wonder, have y'all uh, totally recovered uh, from Ian last year? Not having power for stuff like ice and AC is the worst. We didn't have any issues from Ian, personally. Um, other than um, the, uh, we had a lot of water come into our apartment. Uh, it never really fully got fixed by management, but um, it could have been a lot worse. Luckily, Susan caught it right before she went, uh, she climbed into the bed that night. She went out into the main hallway and she looked and she saw all the water coming in in the hallway and I'm like it was starting to put into our apartment. if she had not done that and she had gone to bed like the rest of us our apartment would have been flooded throughout but luckily we woke Owen up and Owen and I pushed all the water back out to the hallway and shut the hallway you know door so it wouldn't come back in again but no we other than that it was just a little bit of water damage we did not get nearly as much damage as most uh, other people who got the, the, the brunt of the force so Yeah, he did not like the fact that I could just chug that stuff down. So, wait, somebody said they could do that with Red Bull. Um, uh, it's, it's 98 degrees there today. We're slated for 101 with the next close to 118. Yeah, we're going to be right there close to that. And uh, everyone's going to be going to the party tonight. Wow. 
<gasps> Miss Meow Meow, how are you? Yay, I can text in chat. I've had problems. I couldn't text in live chat. Thought I'd been banned or something. No, you you, you were never banned, Miss Meow Meow. It's good to see you again. Um, we have had, we've had other uh, people in our crew who have, and we still have some people who, for whatever reason, not to something we've done or any of our mods have done, are not able to chat. They will tap, they will put something into the chat, but it doesn't show up. Um, and I get messages every once in a while. Uh, it's not on our end, and I'm not sure what it is or how that happened. Uh, so I'm glad to have you back in, Miss Meow Meow. I was, we hadn't seen you in a while, and I hate that we haven't been able to see your chats, but we saw it today, so happy Friday. Good to have you back in. And Poison Apple, it's good to see you today as well. Emily, finally getting my AC fixed after two weeks. Well, if we didn't have AC, I don't know what we'd do. Oh my goodness. Uh, we'd be cooking. I don't care if my car actually- Not in a good way. I don't care if my car actually runs as long as the AC works. It's just, <laughs> all right, let's, uh, we have somebody coming to come visit us and then we're gonna make our way over in a bit. Let's see, who's coming down the, down the river? Any guesses? The Discovery, Discovery Island drummers. Yep. Welcome in and good morning, Edwin. Coming to Florida in November. It's gonna be much cooler at that point. That's gonna be nice. Good morning, Gene Fitzmagic. How are you? Welcome in. Everybody, uh, everybody's AC is working. <laughs> Good morning, mouse ears and beers. Barb B says, that's happened to me. I posted a message and it gives me an error. That's very odd when that happens. If you guys ever have that, or if you're watching and you've had that issue happen, we would love for you guys to send us an email just so we know how prevalent it may be. Uh, and we may even be able to report it to YouTube to see if we can find out what the issue is, so. Good morning, please stand by. Oh, I, but we that's no fun, Miss Meow Meow. We want you guys to talk with us. I, re I really do think my favorite ride is the safari. I mean, I love Kilimanjaro safaris. I, uh, I love Expedition Everest, but the animals, that's why I love this park as much as I do. So my tire is still maintaining pressure, so that's good. If it is a leak, it's gonna be a slow leak. Uh, so we're gonna keep an eye on it, but uh, we're able to drive on it yesterday, which was good. Ooh, boy, boy, I turned into the sun and now I can't see anything. Owen, is that you? Are you up there, Owen? Owen. I need you to talk to me so I can follow the sound of your voice. Make a sound for me. Make it, make, make it, make it sound like wiggy, 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 wiggy. Oh, there you are. Never mind. I see you again. Welcome in. Happy Friday to Tessa. Coming back in November for Jollywood. Mickey's very merry Christmas party. Be much cooler at that point. And thank you so much, Mystic Gaming. Greatly appreciate the super chat. 50 pounds, thank you so much. 
And what can I say except thank you for the super chat? Greatly appreciate that. I hope you our guys are having a great afternoon this afternoon. Thank you, Mystic Gaming. At least from our UK friends who are traveling here at the moment, they're telling me back over in the UK, you guys are actually quite on the cool side in the grand scheme of things. It's like every time the sun touches my skin, it like starts to burn like a vampire. <laughs> oh, Christy. I had to take it to a place to put some air in. I need to start making Owen do stuff like that with me every once in a while because I think sometimes we forget to put our children in certain situations. So if we have to put some more air in, uh, in the past a couple of times I've had the kids help me just so they'll know. Us dads sometimes forget to do that. We just do things. Oh, that's awesome. To be able to ex experience and get to see different things like that. Well, we're glad that people from all over can watch. I know we've got friends from all over the world who watch our streams and can experience the rides. And the lack of crowds this morning. Where is everybody? There, where is everybody? I'm not complaining. Dude, we might be able to go through the regular queue. I mean, if it's not that long, I say we do, because we haven't seen it in so long. They have it set out just in case. So, Jeff, the worst part is having to go in and... Did it just open? It just opened. Is having to change... Having to change the 710. Have you ever had to add 710? The 710 cap? You know, people walk into the automotive store and they say, we're looking for the 710 liquid. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. You guys ever had to go find 710? It's the oil cap upside down. Good morning, welcome in House MD. Thank you so much for gifting some memberships to our Magic Crew cast. What a great way to support the channel and make somebody else smile along the way. If you guys suddenly find that you are in green today, welcome to the Magic Crew cast. Brought to you today by House MD. For the next month, you guys are gonna be able to join in and uh, use a special emojis and have your name in green like all the other cast members and if you would like to experience being a magic crew cast and you've never done so before and you'd like to check it out uh, you can do so it's only three dollars and 99 so you guys can go ahead you guys can go ahead it's only three dollars and 99 cents a month it's one dollar a week and uh, you can do that by finding the join button in the screen. I'm letting everybody go by me because we never get to come in this queue. So I'm going to just let you guys see what it looks like. <clears throat> it's 
speaking of Magic Crew Cast, welcome in Mystic Gaming. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. And once you are a member of the Magic Crew Cast, don't forget when you chat to look for those special emojis available only to you guys. But it's a walk on, but you get to see the queue today. Yep, it did just open up, so we'll take it. Get you to hold this for a second. Can we hold for the front row? How about a front row for how about a front row seat, guys? Since we're in the regular queue, we can there's nobody here. If we were in the single rider line, we would just be walking right on. Let's go, let's go. Good morning, BB. Watching from Dallas. We're front row riders. Attention, expedition Everest team members. Once on board, secure all gear in the cargo bag in front of you. For your safety, remain seated with your hands. Oh. front row it's mainly going to consist of going we woohoo and eek and different varying levels That's awesome, guys. That is awesome. Congratulations.
Don't forget to grab your things and your stuff. Do you want to walk on a second time? I mean, you still have the time, right? Sure. I don't know. Owen says we could probably do another walk on. You guys want to do another walk on? What do you think? I think Owen wants to ride a second. I think Owen wants to ride a second time. How about I not put Gus Gus back just in case? What is the time? Go check the time. If not, we can single rider it. You want to you want to try it? We're going to risk it for the biscuit. We're going to risk it for the biscuit. Even if it's a little longer, we'll, we're okay. We'll just keep Gus Gus. Oh, well, I'm good. I'm not right, I'm right. Oh, no, she is. Now we're, now we're Let's go get that yeti. Howdy, 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 Inez. How are you doing this morning? Yeah, I... Yeah, back issues. We're glad you can watch. We wouldn't recommend jumping on. And, it might uh, it might cause more problems than it should. All right, Owen, you ready to cause some problems? You ready to cause problems? Oh, don't you dare! Do not touch them. Don't. Oh, let me try again. You ready? No, 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 no. You be, you be. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't hate it when I do that. What's really funny is, is if I ring one of those bells, normally what ends up happening, you know, and what ends up happening usually when I ring one of those bells? Everybody in line behind you starts doing it too because they're like, oh, the bells ring. I was about to say, when they took out our prime mover world, we had to do something, right? It's probably less, it's probably less intrusive than Primeval World was. Good morning, Brooker Bean. How are you doing this Friday? I got one hand in my pocket and the other one is ringing Yeti bells. <laughs> Jedi weeps. How are you doing this morning, Kitten Duo? This is ride number two on Expedition Everest. Do the normal queue, which we don't normally get to see, so. That's a pretty deer. Uh, yeah. Here we go, Owen. I got it in my mouth. All in my mouth. Hot cross bun. Hot cross bun. One a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns.
Just do a regular. Back again. Yes. <laughs> Back again. Ear to ear. Back again. Guys, if you're coming in today, do us a huge favor if you haven't done so already. Hit that thumbs up button. Let YouTube know you're having a good time today. The more likes we get on our streams on our uh, when we're live, the more likely it is YouTube's going to bring some new friends in with us who've never found our channel before. People like ourselves who enjoy the parks and would enjoy a family-friendly place to come in and have a good time. You guys make that possible, and uh, we would love it if you guys would help us by hitting that thumbs up button for us this morning and bringing in some new friends today. I'm sorry, I just throw two more ducks. Now one more ducks. And if you guys are watching with us for the very first time, we would love for you guys to take a couple of seconds. It is great to see you in the parks today, and we would love to see you in the parks the next time we go here by uh, take a couple of seconds and hit that subscribe button, guys. And come join us every Monday through Friday here in the parks. Let's go get that Yeti, and if you guys are part of the Magic Crew cast, don't forget that Yeti emoji. Phyllis needs a biport harness. We're a little high up, Phyllis. Throw my hair tie out. Scrunchy time. Go 
get that Yeti. Yeti, 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 Yeti. I always love how nice and cool it is in here. Hey, Owen. Lounge fly hat? What? Yeah, you make those? Yes. Huh. Disney Parks Lounge fly. Got yourself a Yeti hat. It even comes with a free CVS receipt. Goes with the uh, lounge fly bag. And of course. It's a cool ringer shirt with orange at the neck and the sleeves. Welcome in Brooklyn. How are you doing today? Happy Friday and happy first day of Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party. I think we're ready. I think we're ready. I think we're ready for this season to start. It's time for the not so scary portion to start and then come first of September the real scares begin. That was that was two good rides. That was like perfect timing, dude. That just opened up. That's why you have to, that's why you have to keep track of the rides on because if they pop up, the you could win a very low wait time if you're able to ride twice in a row. Yeah, get down to, and it, we got to ride twice. First time. Situation. Front row. All right, guys. It's 9:53. We're only an hour and seven minutes away from 11 o'clock. When we'll grab ourselves an early lunch today. You're just jumping into today's stream. Don't forget to vote in today's lunch poll. Put up by Susan first thing this morning. I don't know how many votes we have on it just yet, but uh, we want you guys to have a say in what we have to eat for lunch today. So you choose, we chew, and review. So go ahead and put your vote in. And in about 45 minutes, we'll close the lunch poll. Susan will take my Disney Experience app, order our lunch for us, and just tell us where to go and it will be a complete surprise as to what we're going to have until we show up at the counter well at least will be for me owen owen doesn't have to uh comply with the somebody chooses my lunch thing so after you guys choose the location uh she will uh text owen some options and he gets to choose his own lunch but Here, I'm gonna tighten up this as we put Gus Gus back together again. Gus Gus is our gimbal. By the way, um, I would like to mention to you guys, we are still using Gus Gus, but Gus Gus has gotten an upgrade. Um, it's the uh, it's Gus Gus version two. 
Uh, thanks to donations to the channel and for you guys' support. Um, we have um, a new Gus Gus to use. And uh, he has got all of his motor strength back and everything. So I just want to say when you guys donate to the channel, it does make a huge difference as to what we do and how we do things. We can be able to keep our equipment running. Uh, we'll be able to come to the parks every single weekday and just have a place for people to come in and have fun. So we appreciate it when you guys donate um, so that we can continue to do just that uh, and just make this a place that everyone can come in all the time. So thank you guys so much. Hey Owen, I need to go find a chipmunk. I need to go find a chipmunk. You know where we can find a chipmunk, right? Whew. Man, I'm feeling the heat. I mean, remember, I just, the heat is rough today. Hello, Mags, welcome in. TGIF toes go in first. I did. I remembered this morning. Eventually. Good morning, Sydney. Happy Friday. Yeah, it may be a little early for uh, Halloween for those and other realities but it's just in time for everyone here hey we stand in line and we talk to giant mice we, we can we can start halloween in august <laughs> Getting to it didn't jump in the chat. Just sit very quietly and calmly. Sat down. All right, so I'm gonna come up and see. I I need to figure out when our first meet and greet is gonna happen. I figured we'd just come over here for a second. Are you guys in line? Awesome. Welcome back to our program here on WDNO Radio. We hope you're enjoying Donald's Dino Bash, okay. which has been made possible. She's made it a little hard for the options today, huh, Beck? That's right. Donald's good old uncle. Good morning, Kevin. Welcome in, Dopey Runner! Oh my goodness, my cat opened up 125 private browsers. So I had to close them all before finding that stream again. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is funny. Welcome in, Ron. We're gonna try. We're gonna. The main thing is to stay as hydrated as possible. Welcome in, Animals of the Kingdom. Yeah, I know the uh, launch pad and Scrooge McDuck have stayed on the flotillas uh, since 2020, and they have not come back from meet and greets just yet. So, where some characters have, some characters have come back, such as Chip and Dale. Um, Daisy and Donald and we're hoping that you know eventually they'll do the same thing for all of our other characters including uh, Pluto and Barker Goofy
Happy Friday, Aaron. Welcome in, catch out. Uh, are there ever any Judy and Nick meet and greets? Um, not, not from meet and greets. Uh, you will see them uh, at special events and okay. what's that? And the cavalcade. And the uh, yes, the uh, Disney uh, Adventure Friends cavalcade uh, in the Magic Kingdom uh, after four o'clock. But no meet and greets. Nope. Our friends are coming. You want to get our waters out? Let's hydrate a little bit while we're standing in line. Here. Yeah, I'm glad that they have shaded areas like this, Jill. I think they have some of the best places. My Florida man. I'm glad that. I'm glad that our bows look distinctly different, so we don't have to like yep. buy anything to different degree. Well, I do have a uh, different color lid as well. Oh yeah, oh, it's slightly different, but yeah. Well, we can refill these over at the restaurant of source later too. Put some more water in. Hydration complete. Don't be a zebra. Thank you. <laughs> my cat slams cabinet doors. Oh my gosh. I can't imagine having a cat like having an attitude and starting to slam doors. Like, huh? Okay, fine. Oh, boom. He won't be me. We'll talk to the door. I wanted some kitty, I wanted some meow mix this morning and you didn't give me any. I'm going to go in the kitchen and slam some cabinets. Meow. Oh my gosh, it is a rabbit. There's a rabbit right there behind us in line. I'm taking signs, there's a rabbit right there. You see that baby duck? I've seen it, Emily, yes, but I'm really considering buying a ticket for the preview meals so I can go try some. Hi, Bunny. Welcome in, Skipper Bob. Hey, Bunny. Hey, buddy. I think he wanted to pass over. I think he wanted to pass over and we were in his way, so. Hey, bud. A little bunny this morning. He just wanted to cross the path, that's all. Oh, I figured if he moved up a little bit, he would probably would just cross over. Awesome, Mayflower. Well, it really helps us, and we hope it helps you keep cool, too. And if you guys order it, please come in and let us know once you get it and how well it works. We'd love to hear from you guys as well. There we go. There was our Judy Hops meet and greet right there. You guys asked for it. Boom. You ask, we deliver. Like we had anything to do with that. <laughs> oh, we love it, Smiggy Mouse. Smiggy Mouse, that's what we want. 
we don't want these streams to be about us. The streams are not about what we do and what we check out. Our, our live streams are really just to provide a background for you guys to be able to chat and have a great time. So that's what we love to see. Hello, Diane. We are waiting in line to meet a Chipmunkosaurus and a Deladon. So, Owen, I'm going to give you the camera when we get up there because I have something I want to ask uh, them about. So, if you can, can you capture it on video? Wow, wow. Copyright. Copyright. Wow, wow. Welcome in, Lisa. Welcome in, Luciano. All right, I don't know what's funnier. You guys having cats slamming kitchen cabinet doors or you guys yelling from another room to stop slamming the doors.
and being chased by a Carnotaurus over at the dinosaur. I thought you guys might know what it is. The Carnotaurus is a big old dinosaur with cow-like horns. I don't even know exactly what that is. Is that how you identify it? He described it as the tallest of the best way. Yes. So Dre, thanks once for you. Well, I, I found this and I thought we're going to have to go bring this to Chip and Dale and let you guys. Would you guys want me guys to fight over this? No, you would share. share. With it. No, you would share. Chip would share. He'd let you have a lick. No? Come on, Chip. One little lick. He's back to the ball. You <laughs> never do that. Well, I uh, I thought you guys would enjoy this. We'll have, next time I have to find another one, I'll make you guys both do it. So, and here, we'll put our fossil, our fossil lake on up here. Very awesome. Thank you guys so much. And uh, we've got a whole crew over here watching at the moment. And they just <laughs> Thank you. Bye, guys. Thank you so much. Oh, uh, Dale it's, licked it. It's still got Dale spit on it. I, he licked it a couple of times. Uh, uh, I, I, that was that was so fun. I, I, I've, I've, we've had that air acorn or like on our table for like so long and for so like i had no idea what your plan was to use it for i, I bought it just for chip and dale <laughs> just for chip and dale <laughs> <laughs> uh, i wish i had two of them there was only one uh, uh, and the fact the fact that the Chip started banging his chest <laughs> to the music. Oh, bad to the bone. Ba -da 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 -da. Um, what's our wait time for dinosaur? Uh, that's a good question. Since, since we have low wait times today, you guys want to see if we can get a dinosaur in before lunch? We have about half an hour. I mean, this, is, this is since we always come in early to try to get grab that um grab that. Good safari ride. We always tend on getting a bit of time before the kingdom show list. Welcome in. It's just juice. Five minutes. Five minutes. Let's go Five do minutes. dinosaur. You guys ready? That's. A, I mean, I pulled up the list. It's the first option there. That's amazing. Wonderful. Five minutes. Let's go hit dinosaur while we can. Now it's going to be a little choppy. It'll be a little crazy. You know, sometimes the connection in there is not the best. Yeah, you know, sometimes you'll but, see like a. Um, baby monkey and the whole entire car will launch you upwards, you know. Yeah, well, yeah, a baby mandrill, and all yeah, of a sudden you're up in the air. And suddenly you're launched 20 feet up in the air, you know, just regular stuff. But we'll try to we'll try to do as much as we can to bring you guys in with us to dinosaur. So let's go give it a try. Welcome in and good morning. Happy Friday, Candace. They really are, and I. Here's the thing: it's just you give the characters a chance to just shine and they will step up every time so welcome in B Disney let's go get that dino Always that way, right? And that's where our go-to is every time when we when we when we doubt ourselves. Good morning. Oh, the fans. Sweet, six days. You guys will be here in no time.
if you ever have a question or if you'd like some help with the characters, find their handlers. Wherever there's a character, there will always be a cast member character handler, and they will be very helpful if you have questions or if you'd like a special experience that the handler might help to explain or help make possible. It's always best to see if you can get that character handler involved. It makes it so much better. Taste for meat, Owen. Menacing razor sharp claws. Meat. A powerful vice like jaw. Not too old meat, like Carnotaurus was just maybe in their twenties kind of meat. Not old, like ragged meat, but Probably after today's uh, safari, dinosaur will be easy. Right, Owen? After today's uh, <laughs> safari, today's dinosaur will be easy. Jeez! exhibits in the old way. <laughs> That's how dinosaurs have been presented to the public since the study of fossils began over 150 years ago. Today that bare bones approach is about to become extinct. In a perfect blending of science and technology, the Dino Institute has created the time. Time that will literally transform you to the age of the dinosaur. Uh, that's the fight. But the result is a presentation of a prehistoric world that will witness the most spectacular creatures to ever walk the earth. In a moment, you'll be going live to our control center for a comprehensive safety briefing, and then on to the tour that will convince you forever that the future is true in, in the past. Hello there. <laughs> Welcome to our little trans-dimensional joyride, folks. I'm Dr. Seeker, your friendly controller, and a heck of a paleontologist, if I do say so myself. But let's not talk about me. Let's talk about you. And how you can help me make history today with the Time Rover. It's like this. If I can bring you back from the Cretaceous period, it stands to reason that I can bring back a live dinosaur with you. And not just any dinosaur. Take a look at this guy. He's an iguanodon, and I'm certain that he is the key to understanding these magnificent creatures. I tagged him with a locator during an unauthorized field trip. Otherwise, I'd be traveling with you. Right now, our dino should be about here, at the very end of the Cretaceous period. That's where you're going today. I've arrived, it seems, just in time to correct a little misstatement. Dr. Marsh. That is impossibly close to the giant asteroid impact that destroyed most life forms on Earth. Our tours are designed to take you to the early Cretaceous period. And I can assure you that all time rovers have been securely locked on those coordinates. That's right. See? Securely locked. Access denied. <laughs> Continue. Of course. We were just talking about seatbelts. Plug them in, use them. 
can get kind of choppy out there, so keep your hands and arms inside the vehicle at all times. Flash photography? I wouldn't. It alters the homing signal, and that's not good. Oh, and one more thing. Those locked coordinates? We're in. We're in. Now, here's the joke. You follow the homing signal to the iguana dog. Then, I'll enlarge the transport field, and boom! You're back with one additional passenger extra large. Mm -hmm. And don't worry about the asteroid. You'll be in and out of there before it even breaks the atmosphere. Trust me. What could go wrong? Hey, it's me again. <laughs> Oh, it feels good in here, doesn't it? Feels good in here. All right. Welcome to Dinosaur, everybody, here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Glad you guys could join us today. Time travelers, place all loose items in the pouch in front of you, fasten your seatbelt, and remain seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the time rover. And please watch children. Atención, guarden todos los artículos sueltos. Abróchense los cinturones y permanezcan sentados con las manos, brazos, pies y piernas dentro del vehículo. Vigilen a sus niños. Let's go. Good morning, Shoshana. Time travel commencing in T minus 10 seconds and counting. This is secret. Listen up. We've got to get in, grab the iguanodon, and get out before that asteroid hits. Let's roll. Human Pop Tarts. Okay, now, let's go get that dino. Computer, what are you tracking? Styracosaurus. Not our dino. Warning, meteor shower in range. Just little one. Polyuramus. That's Owen Tyrosaurus. eating a burrito. Raptor. Time to get serious. Locking autopilot on homing signal now. Uh, Hang on. I'm tracking a big dino on the scope. Could be ours. Computer, full stop. Identify. Carnotaurus. Definitely not our dino. Go, go, go. No. Identify. Sauropod. Still not our dino, but at least this one's a vegetarian. Asteroid impact in 90 seconds. We better move it. Pterodactyl. Incoming! Asteroid impact in 60 seconds. We can't stop now. Keep going. Keep going. Comps on Nathus. Computer, what's happening? Loss of traction. Four-wheel drive. Move it. Warning. Meteor strike. Evasive maneuver. Left. Right. Left. Right. 
That was close. Computer, now what? Sorry, of course. That's it. Abort mission. Abort! Abort! Iguanodon. Forget it! Get them out now! Asteroid impact. Brace yourself! This is it! They're not gonna make it! They're not gonna make it! Mission accomplished. You made it! I knew you would, and guess who made it back with you? I better find him before security does. Thanks for everything! Please gather personal belongings from the pouch in front of you and remain seated until the rover comes to a complete stop. Do we have everybody? Did anybody uh, get um, snacked on? All right, raise your hand in the chat if you were uh, accidentally consumed by a dinosaur and uh, are not with us any longer. We're not gonna make it. Whew, we made it. Except I can't see because my glasses are now fogged. <laughs> All right, let me turn my screen back up. It's black at the moment. We try to keep our screens dark on dark rides so it doesn't take away from the experience of anybody else riding. Unfortunately, somebody kept trying to take photos. Yeah. All throughout the ride and had their flash on. Remember, guys, on dark rides, you can take video, they don't care. Disable your flash. There's a lot of reasons why, but do not use flashes on dark rides. It's never a good experience. Is that is that dinosaur related that you lost your hinging bugs or is that just a, a Friday thing? <laughs> uh, Riley, oops, I'm trapped in the crustaceous period. Uh, guys, that took us less than 15 minutes. Yeah, that's uh, does that ride down well? I no, it's just people aren't riding it this morning. That was so weird. We got on. We got on at 10, we got in the line at 10, 12. Uh, it's now 10, 28. So it took 16 minutes for us to get in line, ride it and get off. Pretty crazy. Not gonna complain, not complaining at all. I love it. I always want, I do take my hat off because it does take you for a ride. When he's like yelling left, right, left. I'm like, I wish I had both hands to hold on to. <laughs> I have learned to ride rides like that using my feet and my torso to keep myself going because I can't always hold on because of the, uh, uh, because of the gimbal.
Isn't that all right, Emily? School's back in summer. Good morning, Jolene. How are you doing today? Happy Friday. Welcome to Disney's Animal Kingdom theme park. Glad you could join us this morning. Guys, we have 15 minutes left for our lunch poll to be open for you guys to choose what we're going to have for lunch today. So if you haven't booted already, go in there and jump in. I'm always curious to see how many of you guys actually are voting. And sometimes you guys tell me the numbers are like 600 people voting uh, for the lunch polls. And I think that's just awesome. That is true, Kuaharini. So many people are immediately going to Flight of Passage, going straight to Expedition Everest, going straight to the safari. There's sometimes a di dinosaur in the back corner. Technically, the front corner of the park gets overlooked. Welcome in, Pekin Beaches. According to Quaharini, if you haven't voted yet, both Chip and Dale, both Chip Moncasaurus say that you should vote for option number two. All I can smell now is barbecue from Flame Tree Barbecue. That can be extremely over, overly influential if your smell of vision is turned on today. Pop into uh, the trading company. See what we can see to look around for a bit while uh, you guys are hitting in your last minute votes. Is the Dino Ride a motion simulator? No, it's actually a dark ride. You do actually move. You're not stuck. Uh, you are moving yeah. the entire time, and it is uh, on a uh, track. It's a trackless ride, but it's still a track in the same way. And it's almost the exact same, if not the exact uh, same method as... Uh Sweet! 20 days to your visit from South Africa. Here's our annual pass holder bags, Dunian Bird bags. Was that me? <laughs> I moved it. I like the buckle on it. You want to see the annual pass holder one? It's actually this one. Okay. This is, I think, this is new from Oh, from yeah. The actual, this is the actual annual pass holder one? Yes, because it has the tag on it. Ah, uh, there we go. Annual pass holder. Thank you very That's much. Cool. Well, I know about that. Yep. So it's the tote that is yes. the annual pass holder one. Correct. Uh, those are not the diets. Those are, it matches this. It matches it, but this, don't is, the tag this is the only one that has the AP tag on it. Correct. Sweet. Thank you for letting me know. You're Thank welcome. you for the information. Uh, they, had it, uh, they had them over at the Magic Kingdom earlier this week in the case, and all it says was annual pass holder, but all the designs were in there. So I, I assumed all three of them were. So yeah, only thank you for letting me know. You're That's welcome. awesome. The Disney 100 design. like to welcome in Ron Johnson. Thank you, Ron, for hitting the join button today and joining our Magic Crew cast. Looking good and green today. Thank you so much for supporting the channel, but we hope that you also enjoy the uh, perks of uh, having your name in green, a name badge uh, beside you that shows how long you've been a member and exclusive access to emojis. And don't forget, guys, if you are Magic Crew cast next Monday, we are going to do our magic uh our uh magic mail from main street again on monday for those who are magic crew cast you'll be able to leave a comment on a uh community tab post that's only visible to magic crew cast and we'll be choosing names to send out postcards straight 
from Main Street on Mondays here in August. So welcome in, Ron. Thank you so much. Owen likes, but Owen would never wear that because it's long sleeve. Well, not just that. Um, We'd have to cut the sleeves off. I I like this design right here, yeah. but I'm not really a big fan of like the tie-dye going in the it's, back of it. This is so long, they have like, they have like a finger. They have like a hole for your finger. So yeah. You have it on your, this is for so cold weather. That's for cold weather because it's got finger holes in it for your thumbs. And, and we're currently... Like 98 degrees sure. right now. <laughs> yeah. This looks nice. Only, only 36. I don't mind. I don't mind like having like that type of pattern in the back of the shirt, just that one in particular with the oh, black and white. So, um, asking for the bag, if you uh, if you want to buy the tote, see buy what was up there. Not talking to a cast member, I made a, a wrong uh, a wrong assumption on Monday when we saw it over the Magic Kingdom. Um, if you want the tote that has the annual pass holder tag on it, you will have to have an annual pass holder credential when you purchase it whether it's you or you happen to have an AP friend or something like that so you will have to have an AP with you to purchase it all right and I'm being told I needed to check PayPal I have not been I've been so running around today and not looking at any of the other stuff. By the way, we're at 25,444 Magic Crew members today. So we are 56 Magic Crew members away from hitting 25,500. And this morning, we just got a PayPal. We just got a PayPal. We just got a PayPal from the Magic Crew. Thank you so much. We just got a PayPal this morning, uh, about a, uh, maybe 20 minutes ago, uh, from Grace. Grace sent in a $10 PayPal. It says, for making my day after a difficult week, the acorn with Chippendale made me laugh so hard. Thank then you. it was worth every penny I spent on that acorn. <laughs> it was worth it. Thank you so much, Grace. I'm glad that we got a laugh. Uh, and I'm glad that we could share a laugh, share a smile, and uh, make your day. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. We're glad that you could be a part of it. And we are so glad that uh, we have opportunities to make you laugh and smile. So thank you, Grace. Do you need some silver popcorn? Celebration popcorn. It tastes like celebration. Mmm, <laughs> my favorite flavor, celebrate. <laughs> there's, there's nothing else I can go up there. Um, are you talking, uh, we had somebody asking about the reusable bags. Um, there are the Halloween reusable bags that came in a week or so ago. I've not seen the new Walt Disney World reusable bags just yet but this is the Halloween one $5.99 so it's six dollars with a happy Halloween reusable bag <laughs> we may have to put our uh, patron gift we may have to wrap it up in the Halloween bag for next month
Emily says that popcorn's pretty good, Owen. But this he just doesn't know what flavor it is. But yeah, yeah, and I have a. I just want to know what the flavor is. Well, what does celebration taste like? Does it taste like grape? Does it taste like blueberry? Celebration time! Come on, it's strawberry. <laughs> I don't have a birthday party and like, oh wow, I really love the flavor in the air, you know. Dinosaur. Yeah, Emily, do you know, remember what the flavor was? Thank you so much, Grace. Uh, we'll we'll have to uh, share a picture uh, from uh, Photo Pass of us with the acorn this morning. No, no way. You know how they have weighted crunchies with like just being back to the side of them? Yeah. It's a, a Yeti one. It's a Yeti. It's a Yeti, 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 Yeti. Weighted plush Yeti. These feel so nice. And he's soft too. They're really super soft. And when you need to wash them, yeah, when you need to wash them, there's an opening in the bag, you just pull the bean bag out and you just wash the... Wash two, two and a half pound weighted bag, bean bag goes inside each of them. Uh, for those who would uh, appreciate the additional weight, there are those who uh, would find that extremely comforting, a very super soft plush, and it's a little hotter. So, Do you know what that is without looking at it? You already I mean, looked, didn't you? It's a croissant, but I don't get... It's a meal. Yeah, I know it's a meal. Strawberry croissant email. Yeah, stro I. It goes they with have the this strawberry. It here, goes with the French hot chocolate Remy, but they don't seem to have French hot chocolate Remy. At least not over here in the larger size. Hey Owen, for my birthday, I want, I want, I want, I want, I want, I want, um, for my birthday, I want, um, I want. For $99. I want uh, to go on a cruise. Oh. <laughs> and play with that ship. Look, it's so cool. Yeah, do something. Ah, oh, Shannon Air turns on. That's kind of cool. And I'm assuming if you turn it around, you'll just have yourself a giant Disney Cruise Line ship display. There it is. The French hot chocolate Remy. Oh, this, that's his tail. That's not just a, oh. That's his tail? Just give me a stage. How old is too old for a Disney plush? Um, I don't well, know. I think it really depends on not how old you are, but how many you are. Because I feel like there, I don't plush. think there's a limit on age, but there is a limit in quantity. Yeah. I mean, when you when you, you cannot two, when you fine, cannot tell the color of your bedspread without having to remove plush, that that's that's the limit. <laughs> yeah, the place that is a lot cheaper than a Disney cruise. But it doesn't taste as good. There you go, Mike. It is. It's a strawberry croissant email and a French hot chocolate Remy to go along with it. Owen's going to go show it to you again because he wants. Does it smell like hot chocolate? What, it doesn't smell like hot chocolate? No. Oh, come on. Does it smell like strawberries? No, it does not. At least mine doesn't. Are they the only one that's actually like have a smell to it? I thought that it? was the whole point of these things is that they were going to smell. No, it's, it's filled with characters. That's the main point. But the only the only punch so far I've seen with, like, with a scent is like orange bird. And that's it. 
Welcome in, Tucker fan. How are you? Wicked, 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 wow. Wicked, wicked, wow, 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 wow. Oh, Laura says Santa brought my son that cruise ship for Christmas. So, what is that? Is that an acorn? No. It is an acorn. Mini cinnamon graham cookies. And then you get to keep the acorn container. Does it sit up straight? No. That's pretty sweet. It has. And I had to go and get a giant acorn elsewhere. How much is it? Um, is it $5.99? It's just five nine. I'm trying to figure out how much. How much is in there? Hundred and twenty tires. So, Flight of Passage is the Avatar ride. It's one of two Avatar rides. In Avatar Land, you've got the river boat, which is the Navi River Journey. It's a boat ride, sort of like uh, Pirates, or it's a small world, except uh, the shaman's a lot more um, interactive. I've never seen that acorn either, Cheryl. That's the first time I've seen it. That's pretty. That's a pretty cute little thing. You get you get some snacks, and then you get a little play toy to play with as well, with Chip and Dale on it. I'm thinking. I'm thinking some some giveaways. I love the I love the giveaway stuff. I can't always afford to give away a lot of stuff, but I love to give things away because I know you guys can't always get to Disney, and I love just being able to make things. Dude, it's my favorite type of shape of glass, the, the can. Hold that, don't drop it. That's, that's not plastic. No, it's glass, that's a glass. You drop it, it is gone. $14.99 each. That's the sign to it as well. See, it will break. I, I, like, the, I like that Donald has smiley faces on his this guy's as if that's his like main emotion that's his that's his main his main feel good morning debbie getting ready for university sweet what an exciting day remember bring towels bring your own towels Remember, if you're like my old roommate and you don't know how to wash your own clothes, find out how to before you arrive. Aren't those cool, Emily? I mean, look, I did, I've not seen those before. I'm, I'm not saying they're new, but they're new to me. I like the fact that they're the the rim is a little smaller, like it's a can, like it's a uh, a pop can. I first saw them last year at Halloween Horror Nights, and I had to have one uh, for one of those designs. So, good morning, Kathleen. How are you? Theo and Sully are watching, guys. Hey, everybody, say hello to Theo and Sully, watching with us from Ohio. Good morning, guys. Hello, 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 and welcome to Disney's Animal Kingdom theme park. All right, it's time to grab something to eat today. But where are you guys sending us? Where are we going? Buzzes, buzzes. You have to... Hey, everybody's somebody in Snellville. So let's go. Let's go get another view. Hopefully, we won't overheat in doing so of our tree of life before we get instructions on where to go. Mm. 
beautiful day. We're so glad and thankful that you guys could come and hang out with us this morning. Spend the day with us here at Animal Kingdom. Now today, guys, we do have plans to have a second stream because we don't have sense sometimes. Common sense doesn't come natural to me. And uh, after we finish today's live stream at Animal Kingdom, we will be closing the stream. And later this afternoon, we will be taking you guys back over to the Magic Kingdom for an afternoon pre-game stream. We're gonna go check out the Magic Kingdom before the party starts tonight. So we're gonna come over, check out some more of the decorations, some more that have come up since we were there on Monday. We're gonna see if we can find ourselves a pre-party Halloween snack in the Magic Kingdom. And who knows, let's see if the if finally, 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 let's see if the Haunted Mansion is open. Yesterday's Hatbox Ghost Watch was a complete bust. So if you guys would like to join us, it is not a scheduled stream yet. But uh, we want you guys to not only subscribe to our channel, we want to make sure that you guys have your notifications turned on. Uh, so you guys can come and spend a little bit more time with us today in the afternoon at Magic Kingdom. And for now, the crew has spoken. We're heading into Pandora. We're going to Satuli Canteen. Yeah. I know what Owen's going to have. Because he has the same thing every time. I don't think I've ever had it, actually. You guys are sending us to Tiffins. Woohoo! Oh wait, no, no, not no, not Tiffins, not Tiffins. Okay, you sure? Are you sure? Yes. All right. No Tiffins. Welcome in this this dad. There you are. Goofy and Pluto. Well, hiya guys. Well, happy Friday. Welcome in, Andrea Streetmaker. Good morning, good morning. Oh, well, oh, Goofy. Thanks, Goofy. <laughs> Please, my bio. Good morning, Austin. Welcome in. Good to see you, Carrie. And guys, we have 715 people who have watched along with us today and taken a couple minutes to hit that thumbs up button. What that does is that tells YouTube where to put others who are looking for a family-friendly Disney stream and they type in Disney Live. The more likes we get, the more likely it is that YouTube will suggest our streams and our channels to others. And so all the growth that we have as a community, when people find us and realize that you guys are an awesome group of people to chat with, it comes a lot from you guys hitting that like button. So thank you guys so much for that. 715 likes today. I've, I've, I think we let him, we let that happen once, but most of the time we don't subject Owen to that. We may have to, maybe we may have to find a fun stream one of these days where, uh, Owen, Owen's lunch gets voted on, and I get to choose what I have for lunch. I wouldn't even know what to do. How would I even do that? A kid in a candy store. Oh my goodness. I can choose something that's I, not wait, barbecue. I, I haven't chosen my own lunch in over a year. 
How, how, how do I how do I do this? What what do I do? How how, how how what what? I'm overwhelmed. That's awesome, Mitchell. How are you doing today? Happy Friday. Welcome in the Pandora, guys. The Valley of Moara. People talk about the fact that Animal Kingdom is in their choice the hottest park. But to me, I love Pandora because there's so much shade here and I can really kind of cool off. Brandy, if there weren't if there weren't cheeseburger pods, I bet Owen would be doing that too. But I don't know if I've ever had Owen come to the canteen and not get the pods. This is the I can't pass up ever. <laughs> Welcome in and good morning, Cat's Mouse Game. Yeah, baby dub. What would you guys order? What would you be eating if you were eating here? A Satuli Canteen. And why is it the cheeseburger pods? And why is it the cheeseburger pods, Owen says? I'm watching all these people with their uh, desert blooms. All right. the number number seven Bloop. all right let's see what you guys got for me today Owen's fully in control. He knows he's got the inside scoop. I bet that's ours. I see cheeseburger pods. Yes. I see Owen's. Cheeseburger pods. Hmm. And it looks like I have steak. Steak? Steak and noodles. Noodles, creamy sauce, sweet. It's so peaceful in here. The music just makes it just so laid back and and nice. Nice and air conditioned in here, Cheryl. Refillable drinks, so if you're extremely over uh, dehydrated, you can just continually refill Powerade or vitamin water. Uh, there's even, I thought at one point there was lemonade, but I don't see lemonade. Well, sure. Did you, you got a table? Um, oh, pardon me. How about right here? Good. Want me to go get drinks when you want? Coke Zero and Cherry Coke. Owen's going to go grab his drinks. I'm gonna take a couple of photos of some awesome options for lunch.
Ice not working. No ice. So I'm sorry. Owen doesn't like ice, so he never it puts is, ice in just, his drinks. I mean, he's also going to eat with his fingers. It's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> he's also not going to wipe his mouth with any napkin. So what did you guys choose? Because here's the thing, at Sato La Canteen is you can actually choose your base, your protein, and your sauce. So you actually can have a few different options depending on what it is you choose and how you choose to dine. And complimentary ball of napkins for every meal. All right, so it looks like I'm having the um, beef steak portion um, with uh, the creamy uh, dressing, the creamy sauce, and the noodles base. It seems like a poke menu to do with you guys. Oh, I, I can imagine. All right, Susan says this is the smoked chimichurri beef bowl with noodles and a creamy sauce. Nice. So again, to show you guys what it looks like. Those are Bobo popping pearls. All right, Owen, what here's you got? a dish that needs no introduction, but I'm going to introduce it anyway because I can. It's Janet. The cheeseburger pods with um, house made kale chips. This is supposed to mostly come with like um, like a tangy smell as well, like in the center. But I think I may have just gotten double chips. Looks like you did. Which is fine. Double chips. I mean, these are really good couches. I love these. If if it were just um, the burger pods by itself, I may be more inclined to get something else. But the burger pods with the slaw and the couch chips is just such a delicious dish. That is a good brunch. Welcome in, Danielle. We are dining here in Pandora at Sato Reef Canteen. And I'm having the chimichurri beef. Chimichurri. Yeah, so nice. Show everybody the bun. Is it very similar to the uh, chicken teriyaki you had at the uh, food one the other day? Not in flavor, but in the bun, yes. The bun is almost the exact same um, flavor structure. Some people may be critical about saying this is a is cheaper. It's a bell bun. It's love, a bell bun. Love a steamed bell bun. Mm. Are there onions in the cheeseburger pots? I'm not sure, but there if, is. If it is, it's simply in flavor. I don't think I, re I recall ever there being like actual onions in there. I do see a pickle in there. A pickle. There is 
And I am picking up flavors of both like, like ketchup and mustard. Good morning, running warrior Sarah. Shut it up again. So Sarah, are you going to be signing up for the springtime surprise? I think registration starts, is it next Tuesday? I think it is, or Tuesday after that. Chicken nuggets and noodles for my lunch today. What are you guys having for lunch? As we say in the South, jeet yet? Nope. Y'all the two? So, noodles, sauce, chimichurri beef. What do you think, Owen? Do you think the uh, cheeseburger steam pie tastes like a, uh, like a soggy uh, sloppy joe? A sloppy joe. I wouldn't say a sloppy joe. I feel like it is more to the cheeseburger, especially when they add that mustard ketchup flavor in the back end. I feel like this sloppy joe has more of a barbecue flavor to it. Kind of. Not like Obrien's barbecue, but like Slug Beer's barbecue. Okay. This, this is definitely 100% cheaper. You're going to get this meat like out of the cheeseburger. When you taste it, you're like, this tastes like a cheeseburger? Wow. Yeah. Sloppy Joe isn't going to be the first one since tonight. Sloppy Joe, Sloppy, Sloppy Joe, same guy. I'm gonna try as well, especially with uh, what is Neverland, Peter Pan, Lion King. Um, the big thing though is the stitch. Stitch is the uh, challenge medal. So. Oh, you need to get that. So I guess I'm gonna be running 19.3 miles next spring just to get the stitch medal. They don't have a, uh, a thing to put my medals up, so they're all, I got all my medals all together. And they just clink, 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 clink. Got to find a way to display them. Welcome in, Becky. How are you doing today? We're having a quick lunch over here at Satsuli Canteen that's chosen by the crew. dishes there with econ meat. For Rob, no, they don't. But if you would like to go to the rookery and come back with some, be my guest. Go right ahead. I'm sure they would be glad to serve anything you bring back. Well, let me rephrase that. I'm sure they would be glad to serve anything if you were to come back. We just got a PayPal. We just got a PayPal. We just, would you like an umbrella? No, you good. We just got a PayPal from the Magic Crew. Oh, you were wanting me to okay. Like, what? Why do you want to get an umbrella to eat chips? What in the world? What kind of chips are you eating? 
Oh, it's raining chips. It's raining chips. Uh, KM, uh, Kayla, thank you so much. Just Kayla just sent in a $25 uh, PayPal. Thank you so much, Kayla. I greatly appreciate that. Uh, thank you for the support of the channel. And we hope that you're having a great time hanging out with us here this morning at Animal Kingdom. And we just got a PayPal. We just got a PayPal. We just got a PayPal from the Magic Crew. Cooper Benji, Cooper Benji, LA, sent in a $10 PayPal just now as well. Thank you so much, Cooper Benji. I hope I hope we got your package. I know it was supposed to be rescheduled, um, but let me know when you receive it. I uh, just want to make sure you get it right. Uh, and uh, thank you so much again uh, for the PayPal this morning, guys, and for making it possible for us just to do stuff like this, to share uh, some food options, uh, hang out in the parks in this morning and for today like today. Um, just to come inside for a bit. It is extremely hot today, so uh, we appreciate being able to come in and take a, a little bit of a, a sun break every so often. So, 97 is our high today. Heat index is way up there. Yeah. Way up there. 15% chance of rain today. So, these are the kind of days you kind of wish it would rain a little bit. Yeah. I mean, just like a really good cold rain. Like a light sprinkle, just to cool you off. So we know you don't mind like watering down. No. Tomorrow, Sunday, boat's still at 97. It's gonna be a hot weekend. Where'd you go? Right. How do you make it translucent? How can you see through what? So. That's opacity? I did, I, I made it a little bit see through. That way people still know you're there. Move around. Oh no. You have parasites. <laughs> Today's G Plus price uh, is $25 for multiple parks, $25 for Magic Kingdom, $18 for Epcot, $22 for Disney's Hollywood Studios, and today here in the park at Animal Kingdom is $16. And uh, reminder, now and through the rest of the Halloween season, guys, today is the first day of the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. Today and any day that the Halloween party is gonna be happening at the Magic Kingdom, the park will close at 6 p.m. to regular guests. That is correct. 6 p.m., no happily ever after, okay? If you are coming anytime in August, September, and October, when you are planning which days you're going to be going to the Magic Kingdom, if you are not going to the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party for a particular night, you need to make sure that you are aware of which days are the parties, that if you don't have a park hopper ticket and you don't have a chance to park hop, if you go to Magic Kingdom on those days, your park day will end at 6 p.m. No fireworks, you're done, you'll have to resort hop, you'll have to go to Disney Springs, but just be aware, so make sure to check the schedules and that you don't get caught off guard, that you end up on a Magic Kingdom day uh, and not know that the park will be closing at 6 p.m. So. so Jeff, if you've seen uh, the movie Avatar, Ekron, what we call banshees, they're the giant Flying birds. I don't know why I'm doing this. Does this help? Well, make sure your other hand's in frame as well. It's just that one hand? They yeah, don't see just... this one over here? Well, that's kind of weird then. It's just one hand. Yeah, like you're, you're trying to do this, but all you see is like you're looking at your That's my dad. He's all alone. If you have a specific question about them, Daisy, feel free to ask. Right now, a lot of our clients coming in this season of the year will be utilizing the uh, Disney dining promotion, not the dining plan, but the dining part promotion that was made available earlier in the year. So if you have questions specifically, feel free to ask. Thanks, Poison Apple. Have a great day.
so Michelle, I do know that there is a downloadable soundtrack um, on like iTunes and it contains soundtrack music including Navi River Journey so there is a soundtrack available which tracks are actually on there I couldn't tell you specifically but I myself have downloaded the soundtrack for Navi River Journey I was just showing you the, uh, they have the Mickey pumpkin caramel apples out now. It's an amazing movie, Barb. It's all about how choosing one's family is so much stronger an idea. And how strong finding your community and the people who support you can be very important. Which is why we're all about Ohana and we're really strong on community here. So when you need help, when you need to be a, you need to pick me up, you need to feel a little bit better, or you're having a really hard day, come into the chat and let the, the rest of the magic group do their best to put a smile on your face. We'll be in Julian. It is, it's up there. Today's been a rough one. The Mitchell, right now you still have to have a park reservation for every every single day. It actually has some uh, trouble getting to the park. You were talking about catching trouble because I had no trouble. I made my reservations. I did not. I did not make him a park reservation earlier this week because I wasn't sure if he was going to be with me on Friday. I forgot to make him one this morning. So, I was so this guy, this guy, and he doesn't, he doesn't know, he doesn't know how to make his own reservations. His dad always makes them for him. But his dad walked into the park first and just walked. That's why I always tell Owen to, to go in first. The only reason I didn't do it that is because he took the first snare and didn't want to go around with you. Then you have to go around me. So, right now, this is the party dates for this year. You'll notice that they're almost always on a certain day of the week. So just, just be aware of it during this time of year. Because, like I said, you don't want to be caught off guard. Yes, you can use Disney gift cards. Disney gift cards are pretty much universally used. <laughs> See what I did there? Universally used. You can pretty much, you can use Disney gift cards for purchasing merchandise, for dining, um, quick service. So as, as you come in to do a party, 
Party goers can check in as early as 4 p.m. on a party day. They have special entrances just for those coming to the party. When you scan in, they give you a bracelet. The bracelet changes every changes color every day because they have a party. And so as you come in at four o'clock between four and seven or wherever, whenever you come in, you get a bracelet. When the park closes at six, all of the rides, um, all of the rides at that point will stop allowing anyone who is not wearing a bracelet from entering the ride. So that bracelet becomes how they tell who's, who can get in lines, who can purchase stuff. You don't have a bracelet, you can't purchase party specific merchandise. ever need something let the community know about it Ma I still remember this area was first released and I need to go any joke we made in Game of Kingdom or even any of the other parks was this song like this song right here I used to sneak up. I, I, I did this. I used to sneak up behind the kids when we were in Pandora. They didn't know I was doing it. I just sneak up behind, behind them and go. Conga! Such fun. It's like just like the Lion King. Welcome in, Jamie LP3. If you're in the park all day, if you have a party ticket, you can just stay. You have to go back up to the front or to a ticket location where it's designated. Most of the time, it's at the ticker, ticket center um, behind Sleepy Hollow. You get your bracelet while you're still in the park, or you can go back up to the front and get your get your ticket. Um, um, the party goes till midnight. So, and you can stay in the party the park until about 1 a.m. Uh, while the party ends at midnight. There is one last showing of the Hocus Pocus Villain Spectacular at midnight. So if you missed it, you can go back up to the castle and see one last show. Welcome in Education CV. That's why Owen's a little jumpy. <laughs> yes, yeah. very much so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I still do it every once in a while. Keep them on your toes. Yes, thank you. How are you doing? I'm gonna go get a refill. Thank you. 
I'm gonna let you have the chat for a second. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get something with ice. I'm an elephant. It's one thing if, like, you know, have a horse that's like slowly going down the street, like maybe carrying a carriage, that's one thing. But, like, the fact that it, um, he's on a back horse, like, full gap all the way down Main Street, it's just one of the coolest things. Don't you even dare, I can see you in the camera. Don't even try it. Uh, yeah, I really like the saw as well, and I was kind of, um, well, I like the chips, I like the chips as much as the swap saw. I was kind of disappointed that I somehow got like double chips instead of chips and slaw. Because then you can, <laughs> then you can like use the chips, put the saw on it, and then eat the slaw with the chips, and it has that crunch. But it's still a good meal, I'm not going to, um, I mean, cheeseburger, cheeseburger, steamed buns. I, I, I'm not really, <laughs> I'm not really in the room to complain about anything about this. It's amazing dish. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay. Don't. Thank you. Um, like I said before, in filling, no, not in filling. Completely different filling. Um, the one we had over there was teriyaki, and the filling, the flavor wasn't as strong with the filling, but here, the, the filling is different, and cheeseburger flavor, very strong here. The bun is almost exactly the same. Like, it has the same flavor and texture. Steam bun. They're, 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 they're buns, both of them, steam buns. So, I could make those at home. Is there a bun steamer? Yeah. Like a kitchen appliance? Oh, well, a kitchen. Kit yeah, 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 that too. I'm sure there is. What are you thinking of? I don't know. So, did you tell everybody about your uh, meal? Did you rate uh, it? Not yet. I did not rate it yet. Wow. First thing I chat. So, we always rate things on a scale of one to five. And we use uh, three factors to determine um, what that scale is going to be. The uh, value, that's the price point uh, and portion. Uh, uh, do, you, do you feel like you got enough for your meal? Did you pay too much? Did you pay too little? And was there enough to make you feel like you got an entree? Uh, two, uh, presentation. How did it look? Did it look like something you want to eat? And um, they take some time and creative way of making it uh, look good on the plate. And then three flavor. Uh, what did it taste like? Did you enjoy it? And would you have it again? So I wouldn't eat these things every time it comes to such a big canteen. I feel like uh, I feel like everyone probably already knows my I well, I'm going to rave, I'm going to go anyway. So what I have with the um, cheeseburger steam pods bow buns. Steamed cheeseburger pod stuffed with ground beef, ketchup, mustard, pickle, cheddar cheese, served with crunchy vegetable sauce and vegetable bits. No onions. So yeah, to answer the question that um, one member pulled up before, there are no onions. Yes. Yes. Um, love. Um, the bun is flavorful. You don't have to. One of the things when it comes to like when you do an interesting flavor, if you're able to bite into it, would you be able to tell that flavor without someone telling you? And you can look the bun, so that's a testament to how strong the flavor is. Um, 
the chips and the slaw are good. I didn't get the slaw this time because I think I'm pretty sure I just ended up getting double chips, which is fine. Double um, chips. But yeah, the slaw is dingy. I know that from reference. It's really good presentation. Like all of the food here is not only, not only has like great presentation, but flavor as well. It makes it such a high value cook service. And value, value. So it's thirteen dollars, which is about around the range for an entree. Um, I say it's on point for the amount of food you get. Like it's not over. Um, it's not a large amount of food for that price range, but is it like you're not? You don't think to play and then you're like wondering if you need more it's a good amount of food so a scale of one to five i'm going to get that five secrets a lot of zappers five huh I mean, I feel like it stands out. Um, it stands like, out. It's like 20 zebra legs. There, uh, I'm pretty sure there are multiple people out there that would debate uh, debate the ranking of this dish because it's a cheeseburger, but it is presented in a different way. Like, if you were to give me a cheeseburger and it had like some where I'm on top and that's it, that would be one thing. I feel like that criticism would be fair in that matter, but it's a steamed bun. Two steamed buns with amazing sauce. Now, my meal, the uh, chimichurri beef, uh, on noodles and sauce, the creamy sauce. A little pricier than what you get in other places. The experience here is different yes. than other places. A lot of people love Flame Tree Barbecue. You will be dining outside of Flame Tree Barbecue. Uh, you will not be getting refills of drinks at Flame Tree Barbecue. Uh, you will not be presented to a beautiful soundtrack that just calms you down as you cool off. I think there's something about the canteen. It's just it's just a nice place to dine. Um, real silverware, actual metal silverware. Cast members who take your plates for you. You don't even have to clean the table. They they come and take your your tray and your plates, and they're always extremely courteous and really nice about it as well. So overall, it's just a great ambiance. But. The uh, presentation of the food, um, I think it's, uh, I like the way that they put it together. I mean, it looks great. Um, the, I love what they do for presentation with the popping pearls, but the popping pearls in the actual bites are a little weird sometimes. You do they take a bite? Pop? Oh, they do. They, they're filled with that, whatever juice is inside. So passion fruit or whatever, it may be that flavor. So as I'm taking a bite of the beef and the creamy sauce and the noodles, at one point I pop that pearl in your mouth and it's all of a sudden you got a fruit flavor. Which, I don't know, I don't think, it doesn't add to the dish in my, in my perspective. It looks great, but I, I don't need the flavor. The flavor that's already in the bowl is enough. Um, as far as just overall, the beef is extremely tender. I did not need a knife. You can basically chip it up with your fork. Uh, a noodle dish is always something that's, you know, I appreciate. And the creamy sauce, I don't even know how you, it's always called creamy sauce. It's, to me, it's like a creamy ranch. Um, really uh, slightly sweet. Uh, great meal. I enjoy it. I think it's uh, a good four out of five, a very strong four out of five. Uh, and still one of the better quick service meals that you can get, especially with mobile water. Always take advantage of mobile order if you can, because when it gets really busy in here, there may be a line way out the door for people to order. And they have now taken majority of the queues here, the majority of the windows are all mobile order now. So, highly recommend using mobile order in the next time you come to dine.
It's extremely nice here. Always is. Very much so. A bun steamer is what you get when you're on the hot seat. It, yeah. Like when you're in court. Um, I enjoy Flame Tree, but to me, this is just a better experience ever. Good morning, Christian. Welcome in. Um, Bespoke, hello, by the way. Good morning, Bespoke. I think the steamed bun pods are perfect to share a meal. Now, a kid's meal, you get only one of those pods, but if you get the adult meal, you get two plus the chips. Yeah, if you want a quick snack, that's not a bad meal to share yeah. uh, for with each other as well. Disney Delivery 72 says so Satu the Kid quickly became our AK favorite. That's understandable. Uh, does Chris ever give a five rating? Yes. 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 Yes, I do. <laughs> It was a good meal. Always a really good meal. We really enjoy it. Welcome in, Ramon. How are you? Good morning, good morning. I just wanted to thank Susan for the help yesterday and getting ready for your honeymoon. Can't wait for you guys to get here, and if we can help out in any additional way, just let us know. Always a pleasure. Thank you so much, Ramon, for letting us be your travel mates and travel agent. Welcome in, Jennifer. Well, now that we've pulled off a little bit, I think it's time to get back out and take you guys into the park zone. So, welcome in, opportunity. How are you? Get you in there. Good morning from Seattle. Is the coke okay? It was coming out a little bleak. Yeah, I, I noticed that when I got it as well. Okay. The flavor's coming. Mini fan. Is there a way to custom order uh, when you order through the mobile app? Uh, for example, if you want to leave off onions and stuff like that. Generally, no. Um, there are ways to order in certain spaces for allergies. I think, um, but most of the time they don't let you do that. If you have something major custom, you will have to just walk through and ask them. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, that's kind of the way that one works. All right, making sure no other questions. Good morning, Mark. How are you? Let's go back out into the park and uh, spend a little bit more time. Now, guys, as a reminder, uh, we, we will be spending a little bit more time in Animal Kingdom this morning. Then we'll be closing this morning's live stream. But that's not the end of us today. We will be having a surprise unscheduled live stream this afternoon after two o'clock in the magic kingdom we do not want to go over we want to see some mickey pumpkins we want to try some halloween party treats uh, that are available even outside of the party hours and uh, we'll kind of get the feel of how everything's looking and if we can get into the haunted mansion maybe we can get our eyes on a hat box ghost so make sure if you're not already hit that subscribe button guys come and join us again this afternoon as we make our way over to the Magic Kingdom. Uh, and uh, make sure that you have your notifications turned on, that little bell to the middle of your screen. Make sure that's clicked. And uh, after we close out today's stream this morning, I will be putting up another stream for this afternoon for just another fun afternoon thing in the, in the Magic Kingdom. I just didn't want to have to wait till Monday when today's the first day of the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party. So we're gonna go out and hang out for just a bit. It won't be a long stream, but we'll check out a few treats and uh, kind of get in the mood before we leave you guys for the weekend. So come back and check us again this afternoon from the Magic Kingdom. Good And our wait times at the moment. Let me see if I can get a refresh. Wow, Satuli uh, Canteen over here with uh, the Navi River Journey just went from 65 minutes to 70. Two hours for Flight of Passage. That's horrible. <laughs> 35 minutes for the safari. 50 minutes to meet Mickey and Minnie in the safari area. 35 minutes for Kali River Rapids. 45 minutes for Expedition Everest. Five minutes for Triceratops Spin and 35 minutes for Dinosaur, and we got on this morning with a, with a uh, 
basically a walk-on. <laughs> awesome ball, Josh. Spoiler, there's no hat box goes. Oh. Let's build a Disney team, shall we? Be bringing this coke outside. Okay. Go for it. No, I want you to drink as much as you need to. Welcome in, Hatbox Ghost. I know it's coming. It'll happen. Let's go check out some of our Pandora views. See what a two hour line looks like at Flight of Passage today. This is our line right now for Flight of Passage. It's out! Good morning, JC. Lightning Lane is over here. I'm coming over this way. Well, it's gone down. It's only 110 minutes now. Molly, good morning, good morning. <laughs> if Hatbox Ghost is here, who's in the Haunted Mansion? And thank you, everybody. 795 likes on today's stream this morning. Almost 800 people have come in and have taken the time to hit the thumbs up button. If you're watching with us today for the first time, and if you're unsure about whether or not people want you to be here, somehow maybe this isn't the right place for you, that maybe, you know, they have enough people in this uh, channel already, it is far from that. Every person who has hit the thumbs up button has done it 
with the thoughts and the idea that they want more and more people like you and like ourselves to come in and have some fun here on our channel, to have fun in the parks every Monday through Friday. So if you're coming in here today, know that almost 800 people have consciously made the decision to make this a welcoming place for you to come in and have fun with us today. So thank you guys for joining us. And yes, we are glad that you are with us here today. Awesome, it squeaks, G. I'm glad you enjoyed the safari ride. It was a little light on the animals this morning, honestly. We had one giraffe. All the other giraffes weren't out yet. We did get to see quite a bit of the white rhinos, though. That was nice. Exactly. Versace Chanel knows exactly what it is. The reason we enjoy hanging out with people in the chat is because these are our people. They understand our love of theme parks. They understand our uh, joy in escaping to fantasy uh, and for taking a little bit of a mental break, for watching a parade and not having to make excuses when we want a Dole Whip. Uh, and uh, it's just a great place to be just like that without having to make and justify your feelings because everyone else is the same way so welcome in edwin thank you so much for hitting the subscribe button welcome hello minas how are you everybody say hello and good morning to edwin greg says i hate meetings they ruined my stream watching. Uh, one of these days, I'm hoping as we get it past the summer, uh, our wait times will go down a little bit and uh, we can jump in and maybe grab another Navi River journey again. I'm going to take the back path here to the exit of the river, river journey. <laughs> and that's like, this work is really annoying me today. I gotta, I gotta enjoy being in the shade, finding the shady spots. Good morning, KM Chef. How are you? And we have an amazing mod team. They are extremely supportive. They are here for the good of the group to make sure that the community has a great time. Our mods are here to make sure that both our community guidelines and our YouTube guidelines are kept so that everybody has a, a family friendly time in our chats. So thank you to our moderators. We have, uh, we have some moderators who really invest a lot in our, to our streams and they do it for you guys. They do it for us as a team. So if a moderator ever reminds you of something that's not because you're getting in trouble, they just simply want to make sure that we're all kind of moving in the same direction. So they may remind you of certain things every once in a while. You're not in trouble.
Cindy, 28 rounds of radiation therapy down. Five to go. You're on the back end. You're getting near that finish line. That's got to be great to be in single digits for that. Hey Kathleen, I remember that day. I remember we were we were starting to get a little uh, a little hot back there. Thank you for letting me uh, have fun with the stream, and I, I hope we didn't bother your family too much as you guys were sitting with us. Good to have you back in. Good morning, Michelle. Welcome in. <laughs> Jeff needs somebody to moderate for his boss. Not for his boss, but for having to talk to the boss. I think that's what you, I think what you're looking for, Jeff, is not a moderator, but an intermediary. <laughs> Someone to talk for your co -work, to talk to your coworkers on your behalf. I'm sorry, Jeff's not available for today. Is there something you'd like me to pass on to him? Why do I, when I hear small shopping village, I, I'm envisioning you in this small little quaint little French thing from like Beauty and the Beast. Michelle's just going from place to place to place. Bonjour, 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 bonjour. weather in low how are you well I'll tell you here's the secret say hi to others they'll say hi back that's the best way how are you doing this Friday we have some friends coming around the corner it might be Pocahontas Pocahontas Amico today. <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Big summer blowout. All winter coats. Hot price. 50 cents off. It's like buying a sweatshirt here at Disney right now. Like you better believe they're thirty percent off. Are you kidding me? Oh boy! Doo -doo -doo. Boom boom. My favorite song. La says thank you for doing your streams. I recently moved to live along and watching you makes feel like I'm not alone. Here's the secret. You want to hear the secret to this, Ellie? When you're in here, you are never alone. 
people often will ask me, is it get boring sometimes going to the parks every single day by yourself? And I have to say, I have never gone to the parks by myself. I never stand in line to see characters by myself. I'm never alone. And whenever you're hanging out with us, you are surrounded by all kinds of people from all over the world who are extremely excited to have you here as well. So Ellie, thank you so much for letting us be a part of your world. And I'm so glad that you're never alone. And I bet, Ellie, there's tons of people in here who would agree with me. Welcome in, Jackie. Just on time. Vicky says I was doing the single rider dance in my hair salon on Wednesday. <laughs> oh, the single riders. Oh, the single. I didn't get to do the single rider song today. Owen was with me. And uh, we went straight through. We, we did a walk on twice in a row for Expedition Everest this morning. So no single rider. I'm curious to see what they're doing back here, guys. We did find the price of these, by the way. They're $10.99. Curtain. It's curtains, see? It's curtains. Ellie! What are you getting for this? Whoa! What is Papa going to wear a spooky shirt? See, that's just it. Never alone. Keep swimming, 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 just keep swimming. Hmm, that actually smells pretty good, not, you know, like a dead scent or something like that. I we do use our iPhone as our camera for streaming. Yes. And uh, we also use a um, Smooth 5 gimbal. If you guys ever have questions about the equipment we use, all of the descriptions are actually down into the description of our videos. There are links if you guys want to check it out and use it yourself. I kind of like this one, Owen. I, I don't normally say I'd want to go black, but it's not like a rec it's not like a regular black. But I'm I don't think I could buy it when it's 100 degrees out. Yeah. But this might look a little better in September. Oh, well, Cheryl, they'll have all new merchandise, a whole new collection for next year's Halloween. But if any of this stuff is something you're interested in now, I'd say the vast majority, if not all of this, is available at shopdisney.com. It's yep. on Disney's website, and that includes these shirts that I'm looking at right now, the spirit jersey, these hats, um, uh, the Donald Duck shirt, the Mickey uh, hats here. All of this is on shopdisney.com. There are 709 items total from their Halloween collection. 
So if you're looking for any of this stuff and you're like, man, I can't get to the parks to get it, you don't have to. ShopDisney.com. Make sure to use the code SHIPMAGIC if you purchase $75 or more and get free shipping. <laughs> Owen. <laughs> oh, Owen. I just want that pumpkin. <laughs> go check it out. Seriously, go check out Shop Disney. Uh, and uh, if you get it, let me know. Marissa, I'll be there in November. How's the weather usually then? It's usually a lot less cooler, um, less uh, less hotter, I should say. Um, but uh, it, it could it could go still very warm till being already cold. The reason I say November is kind of if or can be a 50-50. Sometimes during Run Disney races, which is like the Run Disney Wine and Dine. Sometimes we have heat advisories. Sometimes we have cold advisories and it just changes from year to year so there is a hey hey dog costume With a hug. oh nova would just hate that that's heavy but little ears all oh, little ears would come out she would hate bok, bok. hey hey oh she would just look at me and going dad why why you know what she I know you know I know exactly what she looked like. She, you know what she'd do? Uh, hang on, I'll show you. I'll, just, I'll, I'll, I'll show you exactly what she would look at me like. Yeah, I'll show you. And that's what she'd do. She'd just look at me going, why? Why are you doing this to me? Why why why, why do I have to wear this? Please make me take it off. Can, can I take it off now? I want to take it off and chew it up into small pieces. I will eat some of it, but most of it I will just chew and spit out and leave in small bits of saliva. But don't make me wear it anymore. That's our dog, Nova. She's our pony puppy. 138 pounds of little puppy dog fun. So, oh, the free shipping code is SHIP MAGIC. S H I P. M A G I C ship magic. If you spend seventy-five dollars or more, which is really easy to do, guys, you know how easy it is to do. Seventy-five dollars more, you get free shipping off of shopdisney.com. <laughs> you might want to speak to your lawyer about that one, Mike, just to be on the safe side. She would be so upset with me if I made her wear that, especially since it probably wouldn't be big enough for her. Good afternoon, Cindy. How are you? Love to have you with us. We just left Satuli Canteen over in Pandora, where I had the chimichurri beef with noodles and creamy sauce. Owen had the steamed cheeseburger pots, of course. All right, well, before we can say we've seen enough of Animal Kingdom, which I don't know if you can ever see enough of, I think, uh, Owen, let's go check out uh, the Maharaja Jungle Track and see how things are going over on uh, Kali River Rapids. We got our dancing over here in Viva Gaia. Kevin! Ay, ay, 
yoik. It's our favorite bird. She's so beautiful. Oh, yoik. <laughs> Always a pleasure to see her in the parks. She just said hi and welcome to Animal Kingdom, everybody. Is everybody having fun? Can you hear her? Yeah, yeah. Right, go Tigers. You're not going to spend $75 on Disney merch, like a pin. Add, some, add, a, uh, add a hat and you're, you're good to go. All right, let's go head on over to Maharaja Jungle Trek. See if we can see some more animal friends today. Oh, where? All right, is our Kevin emoji not still up? Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that was funny. <laughs> Did you hear that, Owen? Guy walking the other direction, all of a sudden turned into the Mad Hatter. He sees Kevin, he's like, oh my! <laughs> what a lovely hat you have! If seeing Kevin while walking in the park doesn't put a smile on your face, I don't know if there's much I can do to help you. Uh, I don't know. Hey, Tony, how's it going? Hope you're having a great day today so far. We're gonna go, uh, we're gonna try our best to get you guys uh, to check out the Maharaja Jungle Trek. Hang out in the bird in, in, uh <laughs> infirmary <laughs> it's not the word I was looking for um, aviary <laughs> yeah I feel like I feel like if you need to go like uh, get a band-aid or something logging into a uh, room with just birds is probably not the first place on your list no oh my goodness that's crazy Well, the good thing is, guys, if you weren't able to join us first thing this morning, welcome in, David D. Uh, we're we're going to uh, we're going to go double duty today. After uh, checking out the Maharaja Jungle Trek, when we close this morning and early afternoon stream, we are going to park hop over to the Magic Kingdom. And Owen and I are going to go check out some of the Halloween decor over in the Magic Kingdom. Maybe grab a few Halloween treats that are available outside of Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. And have a second stream today. Won't be long. Brian, focus, bud. But we wanted to have some good looks at some Mickey pumpkins today that were not there when we were there on Monday. Sort of a pre-game before tonight's first not-so-scary Halloween party. Oof. I'm just getting into the good sleep at that point, Tony. Safari. 
See if our buddy's out here on the rock. Good afternoon, Teresa. I don't believe our Komodo is out today. Wait, wait, wait. no, no, no. Right there. Hanging out in the shade at the bottom. I know. <laughs> you think I was just making fun of you or? No, he's right there. No, I thought you were racist too when you said that. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Oh. Oh, you've been looking at him this whole time. Yeah, so we actually get a better view from here because on that side, you're, you're, you'd have to look through the the uh the leaves but he's just kind of sure. stuck in between that's a big guy if i was on an uh, if i was on an island and all of a sudden i saw that thing coming toward me i'd i'd freak out a little bit Now, this area, <laughs> there was a time where you couldn't see this at all. Now you can see the bird aviary from over here, but they've lost a lot of vegetation. Things have been cleaned out a lot, so now we can see the aviary, and, and before and out, you didn't really know that you were this close to it on that side. Last time we came through here, Owen, um, they had one of them had just caught a, uh, I think a lizard. And she, oh yeah, they're omnivores. So they're opportunistic eaters, and they had caught a lizard and it was chewing down on it. Good afternoon, Disney Connections. How are you? It is a beautiful day. Very beautiful air, dude. It's hot, but it's beautiful. Yeah, we just passed by. That was the Komodo dragon. This is one of our uh, monkey friends over here. He said he's, he's, chewing, he's chewing down on some leaves at the moment. But like I said, uh, about a month ago when we came through here, he, um, a lizard had come out and he had grabbed it and he's just, hmm, this looks good. Nom, 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 nom. Horrified children everywhere, screaming, running back and forth, going, what is going wrong? Bad house. Eek. 
We don't tend to have good signal in here, guys. Um, I'm going to give it a shot. We're going to see if it does any better. You guys let me know if things waver, and we'll do a refresh when we come back out, but we'll give it a try. All right, we'll do a quick refresh. Tiger Force. Tiger Force. Welcome back in, everybody. Head and Mickey. So, yeah, the bat house is always problematic, and I thought I'd try it to see if it got any better today, but not any better today than normal. This is our male tiger. Welcome in, Desert Dream. Good to see you, Debbie. Thank you, Fernando, for hitting the subscribe button today. Welcome in. You don't say I don't see anybody. So. Oh, he's at the. He's hiding behind the bamboo. We'll never see him. Yeah. But I don't blame him. It's as hot as it is. He's probably hiding in the shade. So, Owen, hidden Mickey on this Maharaja. Oh, that's that's subtle. That's a mountain. Yep. <laughs> and the one behind us. Can you find it on this one? There's two. Well, that's easy. It's the clouds. Wherever you got clouds of that stuff, it's always going to be in the clouds. There's a hidden Mickey in each of the four Maharajas. There is a Maharaja mural on each side on the way in. That's why it's called the Maharaja Jungle Trek because it's the story of the four Maharajas. 
He does, and he's like, I'm glad we didn't see the bats. <laughs> uh, now, it went super slideshow, I believe, but we did get to see the tree monitor. He was very active, very shiny. He just wanted to say hi. He was dark, black, and was just, he came right up to the, to the camera at one point. So, I got a picture of him at least. Look, birds. Birds. Gooses. Goose. 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 Oh, antelope. Welcome in, Just Berry. I tried. I, it's inside that building has always been problematic for us for connection and I, I haven't tried it in a bit since we've been doing 1080 which if you guys are not watching in 1080 make sure to turn your settings on to 1080 and apparently the bat house is still a no-no for us like that one that's just sitting on the older oh, coming over all the animals here are very camera happy. It will probably start somewhere between the hours of two and three o'clock, Emily. It just depends on how long it takes us to get over there. Whole crowd. You see it? Way over there. Beautiful geese, though. White thing. Yep, that's an Impala. Oh, I love the love the geese. They are just the, the markings on them are beautiful. I know that's not the animal that's on display here. We got impalas like over there, but. And they waddle, they waddle so far away. We're gonna make our way over to the bird aviary, check out some of the birds there. That's an interesting thing, Owen. It's just there. Maybe it's there to help train the like you can look at two goes with a spider web right there. Uh, I don't know what that's for. He's he's busy. Anybody know what that is? Nope. I hit too close. There was a web right there. I know a scared. I know a spider. I like it. Spider Man. Spider Man. There's, no there's no one who like like walks into a spider web. I'm like, no oh, scared of no Spider Man. Oh, sorry to hear that, Lori. Oh my, the uh, water buffalo are um, in the water. I would be too with this heat. I would be too. Well, I mean, if my name is Water Buffalo. My name was Water Chris. I guess where else would you expect to find me? Everybody has a water buffalo. Yours is fast and mine is slow. No idea. Where I got it, I don't know, but everybody has a water buffalo. Ooh. You know it's hot when you can see them up here. I don't think I've ever seen them this close up of Owen. They've always been up on the hill or about and about. Now they're like, I'm getting in the water. They're like, hey, Frank, I'm going to get in the water. I'm like, me too. It's hot, Charlie. All right, let's go. Yeah, except for Clarence. Clarence is weird. Nobody knows where Clarence came from, though. He just kind of showed up one day. Hey, where's, where's Clarence? Where's Clarence? No, we don't keep up with Clarence. Clarence just shows up. This way. 
Okay. This way. Okay. Okay. Sure. So the water buffalo or water buffalo. at the nest. The guy's in his nest up there. <laughs> Thanks, Lauren. I needed some backup. Now everyone's gonna think that where's my water buffalo? Stop it, you're being silly. Oh, oh. oh okay. Oh, we just got attacked. They fly fast. And they don't care. This is their spot. They will fly low. And Today, uh, Owen had the uh, steamed cheeseburger pods over at Satoli Canteen. I had the chimichurri beef. Mm. Hey, Owen, check these beautiful guys out. Speaking of lunch, they're having a good lunch today. There must be a lot of work put into eating every single type of food to burn it. Slightly yellow on their heads. Oh, what'd you do, Owen? I didn't do anything. What'd you do? One of them jumped and they all got scared. Look over this way. Look at the small ones.
Welcome back in guys. It is so incredibly hot this afternoon that even though we were standing underneath the trees in the aviary, um, it overheated. It's just, it's hot. So welcome back in guys. Sorry about that. Just think about these poor birds. I can make everybody. All right, let's keep moving. One of the reasons that it does overheat is I stop moving. There's something about the idea of when it stays in one location. For too long. Couldn't help it. Those are just beautiful birds. Some of our peasant, pheasants here. Peasants. It's the bird class system. Okay, there is one they keep dive that, bombing. They keep dive bombing. There is Owen. one species here that likes to fly specifically by your face and no other body part. Actually, right before you guys went black and, and the camera overheated, a small black bird came went in between me and, and just face. flying right at the camera. It would have been a great shot if it had gone dark. Sometimes the birds win. Actually, right after, right before, um, uh, right before it went dark, yeah, somebody, uh, one of the birds came uh, flying through, and it would have been a great shot. Like I said, I was not even aware of the fact that these get so close to one another. This vegetation has become down and available now. I'm not leaving it. I'm not leaving the trail. Let's all sing like a bird be seen. Tweet, 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 tweet. Let's all sing like the bird is seen. Tweet, 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 tweet. One duck. It's an exotic boy. Quack, quack, quack. He's by himself. That's unusual. Just taking a nap. He needy and he be just sleepy. Man, Anderson, it is really hot here today. It is a high of 97. Our heat index takes us well over close to 110, 115 for a heat index. So it's just, it is a warm time here in Central Florida, that's for sure. Now there is a path if you are not one who enjoys aviary activities, you can take the side path here right before you go into the aviary. Uh, you can bypass it if birds are not your thing. <laughs> Amy H. Hello, hello. Amy says we're up to 800 and 58 likes on today's stream here this friday 
only 42 away from hitting 900. I don't know if there's 40 of you guys in here who haven't taken the time to hit the thumbs up button. Uh, most of the Magic crew is so laser focused on that. Uh, we appreciate that, the fact that they do that so that we can have new people come and join us all the time. It also helps to remind those who are already subscribers because it just puts us high up on the recommendations from YouTube. But if you haven't hit the, the like button here today, help us out. See if we can get the 900 for today's stream, at least for the one this morning. We will be doing a second stream today. Usually we only do one per day. And we will be going again this afternoon from the Magic Kingdom after 2 o'clock to uh, have a little Halloween fun, see some more of the Halloween decorations, check out some Halloween merch, and uh, try a couple of uh, non-party Halloween treats, if at least nothing but a milkshake, and uh, kind of get a feel of what it's like right before the party starts tonight at Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. All right, now that we're off the trail, Owen's going to join us back in just a second. So I'm going to do a quick refresh now that we're back in civilization and off the trail. Get the best signal possible. And I'll be back with you guys in just one moment. We'll see you in a second. Good afternoon and welcome back guys. This is one of our monkey exhibits, ape exhibits. It is currently being refurbished, redone. So our howlers are not out here today. Now, Riley, I always have, I always wonder how that's pronounced, because you know I, I don't. My studies were not in French. Is it La Croix, La Croix, La Croix, Le, Le Water, Le Water? I don't think I've ever officially seen a number. I've seen people take a stab at a number before, but it's not something that's made readily available by Disney. But it's funny, because even on a night where they sell out, there will always will be someone who goes to the party and says, it's way too crowded. So we could take a guess at the numbers, but it really would just be a guess. In my American accent, I say Le Croyer. In my French accent, I say La Croix. La Croix. All right, I'm going to stand out into the, the heat for too long out here. I'm going to overheat again. So let's go inside a little shopping area here. Hey, 
It's so funny though, Cheryl, sometimes people will be at the exact same party and you'll have someone post on Instagram, it was way too crowded and they oversell the tickets and someone else in another post will go, it was perfect, it wasn't that bad. So I think as everything, it's sort of like a perspective. One of my roommates is actually one of the acrobat monkeys in that show. Be extraordinary. How you doing? Alright. Oh, pardon me. Sorry. If you have to choose between being right and being kind, choose being kind and you will always be right. Rain jacket. It's kind of a nice material. I like that. Yak and Yeti Orlando. Awesome, thank you. The exceptions are going to be the bonsai trees and the money trees, but we also have tissue paper, so we still wrap those up for you. Thank you very much. Now, if you guys are wondering why is there Rainforest Cafe and T Rex? shakers over here as well. It's because they're all by the same company. They're all the same company. Landry's, I believe. Also, the cup that you were just looking at, sir, the shaker, those are a promotional item. All of those, the different colors and the lineup are only $6 right now. Six dollars? I remember last time we were at Yak and Yeti, I almost got a drink just because it came with this. Yes, sir. Yeah, we love marketing like that. They have a really uh, cool cup that they have now. It's uh, it's like a, it looks like a little Buddha statue, but like the back of it is a cup. Uh-huh. And it's really cool. It's like a tiki mug, but completely different. E exactly. So all of these are $6 for the shakers. Yes, sir. Rainforest Cafe. And even a... I like your bucket hat. Yeah, can you any? As we refer to them as blinky cups. Got to get your blinky cup. Those in, those who are HHEN fans immediately go, oh, yeah, I know what that is. I know a blinky cup. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Oh, no problem, sir. Have any questions or need to know anything, just let me know. I'm happy to help. Will do. Thank you. All the stuff you're showing off up there, all that is actually picked from India and brought over here. From I say that, that this whole area is based on. I say anything here uh, is uh, the details are always something to take a look at. If you've never looked up in these stores, you're going to miss out on some really cool details. I have a sipper. I have a sipper at home that looks like that lantern right there. It's from Animal Kingdom, from the Rivers of Light. And it was a simper I'd never gotten uh, when it was first released here, and I got it at a uh, antique mall. Talk to the animals. Uh, I forgot where we were at the other day. Oh, I know what was that. Uh, it was at. Um, it was at Animal Kingdom last last time. We were walking through. Uh, we we went through the exit through the Rainforest exit, Rainforest Cafe exit, and there was a family coming through. They had three kids, and each kid had a sized animal plush like this. One was a tiger, one was a giraffe, and I can't remember what the third one was. Um, 
They had each just gone through the Rainforest Cafe and each had gotten themselves a plush. And they were priced somewhere between, I forgot, 75 or 100 bucks. Like that family just dropped 300 bucks right there on uh, some giant plush. And I'm like, I hope they have a good time. But can you imagine having to keep up with three giant animal plush uh, while riding rides in the Animal Kingdom? Joe Rohde, he is a legend as far as being in and experiencing life while still being in a park. Hey Terry, happy birthday! Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Terry. Happy birthday to you. Yeah, my hat used to be that color. Uh, that is a good question. I got to imagine that they must have driven here because I just don't see anyone flying with those. I don't think I would pay another hundred bucks to just to get them, you know, home. Oh, almost all. Oh, can you imagine if you had left them on rice? Ladies and gentlemen, Owen's going to be joining us. If not, a little bit later in this stream, he'll be joining us in the second stream. I'm going to take you guys back up toward the front. $75 plush, $5 mug. Use it. This is the way you look at it. Uh, I find that the um, margin of profit, Michael, is proportionately made to the amount of tantrums scientifically recorded by those who want that item given and done by those and for those uh, who are saying no to that item. So if there are more temper tantrums and pouting faces, then the profit margin is usually higher. You don't want to have any problems with Grogu in the first order again. Owen, Owen is taking, uh, Owen is taking a, I, I, I am not hosting the stream break. <laughs> He'll be back. He's fine. Well, guys, uh, I am going to go ahead and close out today's first stream. Uh, we will be back with you guys in a couple of hours. We are going to uh, cool things off a little bit. We're going to bring our own core temperatures down some. We're going to make our way over to the Magic Kingdom where we are going to host a second shorter stream. I see our little turtle friend over here. I don't know if you guys can see him or not. He's making his way over through the lily pads. And uh, we're going to take you guys over to the Magic Kingdom this afternoon to do another hanging out, stroll through the Magic Kingdom, see what things are looking like for 
I like turtles. To see how things are looking with our Mickey pumpkins. To grab ourselves a Halloween treat to cool off with. And uh, just sort of get us in the mood uh, before tonight's Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party. So make sure you have your subscription and notifications turned on and expect to see us come back again sometime after 2 p.m. over at the Magic Kingdom. This little guy just came all the way over here to say hello to us, didn't he? Well, if today's stream has been any uh, motivation for you to get prepared for your next vacation, whether it's Disney, Universal, or a cruise, or anything like that, We'd love for you guys to reach out to us and let us be your Travel Nation travel agents to help you book and plan that trip. No service fees, it costs you nothing to have us help you out, but you'll have somebody there whenever there are questions. You'll have someone there to help you when it comes to transport. You'll have someone there to help you when tickets act weird in your My Disney Experience app, or when you're not really sure whether or not you need a passport when you get on and off a certain ship. It's good to have somebody to contact and not have to go and look for that stuff yourself. So reach out to us today. Send us an email, Susan Edwards at TravelMation.net. Copy me at Chris Edwards at TravelMation.net. Let us know what kind of 2023 and 2024 vacation you would like to have, where you would like to go, who's coming with you, and let us help you with some quotes, picking the right vacation, the right location, and helping you make your reservation with less stress that you have somebody there always to go to. So thank you guys so much for supporting our small business. Uh, the best way you support the channel is just to make sure that our small business is still going because as long as we have the bills paid and the kids are fed, we're going to be here in the parks or on the ships or somewhere to keep you guys in the loop about what's going on here in the parks and on travel. So thank you guys so much for all you guys do to support us here uh, as Travel Nation travel agents. And finally, guys, as we close out today, if we miss you this afternoon, uh, I want to say thank you for a great week. Uh, we've had a great time so far. I'm looking forward to having you guys on for one more stream this afternoon. But if not, we'll see you again on Monday for another Monday through Friday stream. But as this afternoon and this weekend, we want you guys to continue to push the magic of community that we have here in our channel with other people in your real life by sharing a laugh, sharing a smile, sharing a compliment and you never know what their story is but be the sunshine in somebody else's day thank you guys so much for all that you guys do thank you for being so supportive and uh, we greatly appreciate having you guys as the magic crew have a wonderful afternoon we'll see you guys in about an hour hour and a half over the magic kingdom and until then we'll see you guys in the parks see you guys again real soon